I say that, although it's even louder for me. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Yeah. But it's also Sonic Day. It is. It's Sonic Day. It's also a Hump Day, which. Hedgehogs have little humps, right? Well, I was gonna say a lot of people synonymously think of humping and Sonic. Ah, yes, of course, of course. Yeah. That is two things that happen together. Not me, no. Not, not you, certain. not you. Obviously that would not. Be ridiculous. No. No, 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 not us. We're we are regular human beings with regular interests, like um, uh, the hiking. Lord our savior? Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. The Lord our Savior and Amen. hiking to see the Lord our Savior. The higher up you go, the closer you are to the Lord. Oh, it's true, it's true. No, we're degenerates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there was a tweet I think I sent you recently that kind of proved that. <laughs> it was about Digimon Ghost Game. Oh, yeah, 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 the furry one. What? <laughs> I said it, I'll say it again. <laughs> the furry one. <laughs> Revealed to all in 4K, oh my gosh. It's okay. So? It's kind of hard to hear him. Okay, hold on. Oh. Can you hear me now? I think... I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what I have to do. Turn up this song? No, turn down music, probably. Yeah, I'll turn down music. Alright, how is it? Is it better? Am I a quiet little mouse? Or is he a... a loud meowling cat? Woof woof. That, that's not the sound cats make. Like that? Yes, that's it exactly. That is the sound that cats make. I'm hungry. Feed me. Okay, speaking of hungry cats, since we're waiting, it's still kind of quiet, but you can make him out. Um. Oh, it's because of the fucking- Okay, hold on. It's because of the fucking Sonic game. How about now? Uh, <laughs> Say something now. <laughs> am I still quiet? Can you hear me? Well, All the right. problem is if we turn the game on, then won't it also- Yeah, it just means I have to turn the sound down on Sonic even more. Which is fine. It's so loud. For what? <laughs> Alright. Hi, you Beetle. Might be now. Yeah, I gotta... It's so annoying. I have to figure this out. Uh, I'm sure there's a plug-in on OBS somewhere to split out, like, all of the audio. So that way I can turn people up separately. Because, like, for you, Belith, on Discord, I have you turned up to 200%. So like, <laughs> it's, it's this this fucking Sonic game. Actually, hold on. Let me let me try one more thing. Um, if I go to sound and I go to my little my little microphone thingy and I go to properties, I'm at the I'm at the max. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you're on the max on my side too. It's it's the balancing which is the problem. So what oh. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn Sonic down on my computer. And keep Discord up. And oh, like in the mixer itself? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. And I still might have to turn the music up a little bit more. Ah, um, now we're thinking with computers. Yeah, it's stupid. It's stupid. Um, okay. Ha how's the balancing here, guys? Can you still hear it, Sonic? Can you hear Belith? Uh, I know I'm loud and clear. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Don't wanna get murdered. I don't think that's how it goes. Uh -oh. <laughs> but please, but please, vocal... you're rocking. I hope there's a vocal crush 40 song. There's probably not, but I hope there's a song. Oh, oh, a crush 40 song in here. Yeah, I thought I you were like. I hope there's some sort of bop, you know. Yeah, I thought you were like. I hope there's a vocal crush 40 song, and I was like, that's all of them. They're all. They're vocal. <laughs> Never, That's why I got confused. <laughs> never heard of him. What's that? <laughs> anyway, 
We're eight minutes in. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi! My name is Belleth. I like to stream games like Sonic, and I also like to stream games like Murder. And, um, I stream a lot of different stuff. Uh, yesterday I streamed a kind of scary murder game. You can follow me if you want to. You, most of you already do. Hello, I love you. Um, that's it. Yeah, you, you stream a lot of, um, a lot of RPG Maker games, right? Yeah, that, and Nintendo stuff, and I mean everything, really. But yeah, yeah, I yeah more but, of those too. But I like the RPG Maker games, so... <laughs> oh no, we must go to war. What? No, 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 no. I like that you stream them, so I, I'm uh, gonna point it out. <laughs> I thought you claimed Siege to the RPG Maker Battleground. No, 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 like no. I'll take all the cozy ones, and you can have all the horror ones. You seem to like those anyway. You can have horror, those. Horror makes me cozy. I don't get it, but... <laughs> I just want to be spooked solid, that's all. <laughs> um, This is where you can find Belleth. Uh, it should be at the top there. Uh, you can press that little heart if you want to follow him. He's a cool guy, I promise. I'm not just saying that because I know I'm IRL. Belleth is cool. And... I'm real too. Did you know that? I'm actually real. <laughs> a real boy. I'm not. I'm not an AI. Um. What What's your stream schedule like for the rest of this week? Uh, tomorrow. I'm not clicking the Twitter to check. I'd have the same <laughs> Uh I, I think I'm doing Star Ocean Saturday. Okay. Um, okay. And I know oh, you're tomorrow. doing The Last of Us at some point. Uh, I think I couldn't squeeze it in this week, but I'm, oh, I'm doing dang. Minish Cap tomorrow and Star Ocean on Saturday. I'll probably do more Last of Us tomorrow, uh, next week. Okay. Well, I like Minish Cap too, so that's fine. I yeah. just... It's really interesting to watch you play The Last of Us because, like... I'm so good. You... You use Molotovs in very creative ways. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to, I'm a I'm a pyromancer Joel Spec uh, loadout. So, something like that, I guess. Hi, yeah. Tipsy Cat. How are you? Happy Wednesday. Welcome, welcome to our madness. I like how sometimes, like Pando Tiger is like late to greet people because he's napping. That's so cute. Pando is talking up a storm right now. I know. Oh I know. He's hungry, Jeez. and his number one fan, Alex, has not fed him. Wow. Thank you. Oh, oh, Fake he leveled fan. up. Fake fan. Oh. Congratulations. Yeah, good evolving? job, Tiger. Ah, uh, no. No. Oh. I think at level 30, he probably gets new skins. Oh, wow. I yeah. Yeah. And thank you for hydrating, Tentacat. I, I really like... There, there are a lot of different things you could do for streams. You could do like, uh, what is it? Um, like the stream avatars. I think those are really cool. But I don't know. Something about having a stream pet. It just, it brings out the Tamagotchi in all of us, you know? This is a family-friendly stream. And what better family-friendly than a pet? I did it. Than a pet. But also, murder. Yes. Let's switch over to murder. Okay. Okay. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Would you consider... No. I was going to ask, would you consider Sonic a pet? But I don't... Do you think Sonic ever, has ever had any pets? Um, probably. I mean, like, when you think about Sonic and they, they rescue all, like, the little, the little animals from the forest. I bet yeah. he's like, wow, aren't you just a little guy? And probably, like, you know, pets them, but, like... Oh my is god. Is he not I'm also? A... What? I can't believe I asked that question. I am such a fake Sonic fan. I cannot believe this. Ciao. T oh, right. ciao. Duh. Oh my god. I I'm retiring. Oh my god. All right. Goodbye. Okay. We're, we're retiring. <laughs> That's it. It was a good run. Yeah. Fake fan. Fake fan. Um, Real quick. There's like some assist stuff. Do you think we need any of this? I actually don't understand why this is here. Isn't it a what? visual novel? <laughs> Remove pitfalls. What, 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 like text pitfalls? Like, they're, uh, what does that mean? Hold on. I don't know. I want to see what happens if I click it. Okay. Um. <laughs> um I don't I think, know. 
I think you're a gamer. I think I think I'm it. a gamer. Yeah. Uh, so as an aside, I was like fooling around in VTube Studio, or maybe I it was uh, some. yes, yes. It was either uh, VTube Studio or the Twitch integrated like throwing system. I was looking through the settings, and uh, there was like a setting for like ray tracing integrate. I don't know. It was something stupid, but I was like, I don't know what this is, ray so tracing. I'm gonna click it. And would you believe? In the year of our Lord 2023, I got Rickrolled. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> What's next, I... Leak Spin? Oh boy. Oh my god. You know, Caramel Dotson's been coming back. I'm mm. okay with that one. I also like the one where it's like, um... When, when it, like, the person, like, it's sp spun around a lot and goes crazy. Like, get, get done. Yes! Yes! Yeah. I love that one, yeah. Okay. I know we got to start, but one more aside. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, oh, it's like a light effect. I get it. Yeah, that is a Rickroll. Um... Okay, my last aside. So I've been um... watching a lot of Instagram things and um, I watched this one dude that does piano stuff and it always somehow ends in um, Buddy Holly by Weezer. And so I don't know if you've ever heard the song Pork and Beans by Weezer, but um. Like they end their whatever song they're playing on the piano with that song. They just yeah into yeah. It. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's it's kind of wild. It's it's great. It it's really funny how natural it is. Um, so I was listening to Pork and Beans the other day, and if you're not familiar with Pork and Beans by Weezer, it was a song during like the height of like YouTube popularity, like the really like early people, like uh, mm. like Free Britney and like the new Manuma guy. And mm -hmm. so, um, they're like all in the video and like, uh, 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 Tay, the dude that does Chocolate Rain. So <laughs> I came across a YouTube video the other day cause I was like, are they all okay? <laughs> so it was like a 10 years later, how are they doing? I just wanna check in. Yeah, I just, I just wanna <laughs> send you a Christmas card this year. Make sure you're doing well. Yeah. Make yeah. Sure you're alive. Yeah, pretty much. And so the video was from like five years ago, but it was like a 10 year check in. And, you know, other than like <coughs> some people getting like some scrapes and bruises from like a car accident, they're all like pretty good. Like a high school reunion. Yeah. For, for internet celebrities. Yeah. Because, you know, I was just like, man, I wonder what the Numa Numa guys do in these days. He really took off then, huh? I hope something successful. I hope something fulfilling and happy. Yeah, yeah, I think he's I think he's having a, a good time. Um okay. Let's start for real. <laughs> wait, 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 one more. One more okay, aside, aside. okay, one more. One. Yeah, let's do it. Do you see Shadow? Yeah. Why does he look like he works at Starbucks? What? He's, he looks like a barista. Wait, look no, you're right. He does. <laughs> he looks like he's about to, to to serve me my soy latte. Like, Amy's taking the order, but then Shadow's giving it to you. He's like, you ordered a uh, cappuccino. <laughs> She's like, uh, <laughs> no, sorry. Oh, also, what what voices? We'll figure it out as we go. It's yeah, we'll, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll play it by ear, you know. I'm not gonna lie. There's like two people I don't know. I don't know who this is, and I don't know who this is, so. Which one? Uh, this, this person. That's Espio the Chameleon. Okay. He's, he's like a ninja. A ninja, okay. Uh, -huh. uh, I know this guy. Um, I don't know this one. Uh, I, I think, I think that's this Blaise is, the okay. Yeah, I know the name, but that's about it. All right, what's... She's also fast. Also fast. I mean, most of them are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll get there as we get there. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. I'm ready. Uh. Uh. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> do you want this uh, to be you? Yeah, I'll do, I'll do this little guy. Okay. Oof. Made it on the train. 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Hey, that's... Oh, That's I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Okay, how do we portmanteau our name together? It's time to be born. Um, 
Seth? How about Seth? I like Seth. Yeah. Hello, my name is Seth. Do not steal. Please. Please. Seth, did I spell that right? They look like a Seth. Bitch, I don't know how to spell my own name. That's right, my grandson's name is Seth. <laughs> of course, I didn't forget. Of course. Well, passengers can read my scribble. It's great. It's a great handwriting. Thank you. Yo, oh. it's the train? I've I want to be on this. Of, yeah, like, I've always wanted to go to, like, an IRL Miss Murder Mystery train. What right! Train? Yeah! Okay, like Amtrak trains, like regular Amtrak trains, you know, I could I could pass. But yeah. like upgraded Amtrak trains, let's go. Have a little cabin, a little little uh you know, a little seating area. Yeah, some, yeah. Uh, bar, you know? Maybe like a chandelier, like I know it's not safe, but I want it. <laughs> but it's, it's good ambiance, you know. Exactly, exactly. Uh oh, am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Wrecking the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Seth, shake it off. S -s Slap? Oh, don't hurt yourself. Uh, oh, the conductor. S uh, Seth, uh, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? M Mr. Conductor, sir, H how are you doing this morning? <laughs> Quite all right myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. Uh... Is that because you're a sweetie? Look, I'm going to consult you on most of these, but this one I'm picking. <laughs> oh, trying to butter me up on the first day, are we? Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> It'll work. Alas, today's my last day as conductor. <laughs> I'm just a day from retirement. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years and nothing no, bad will sir? ever happen. <laughs> I promise. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Spagonia. Is that a real Sonic place? Is that I just think made that's up? in Sonic Unleashed. Is it like, like a Italy? nice area? Oh, cool. Okay. They're going in is style. It's because it's like spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll accept it. <laughs> Our shower's been on the fresh, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> Fix your shower. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today, our first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. <gasps> Alarm. Alarm. The menu has been added to your inventory. Oh. I can open the inventory anytime to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. Alright. Read That's out the menu, menu items. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna Chili take my dog. pill, so. No worries, take your time. I wonder who eats chili dogs on this on this train. And instant ramen, date bio. Whoever's and eating chili dogs, I'm taking them out. Oh, there's one hedgehog that loves chili dogs. He's probably going to be taken out. I think the title of the game... Oh, no! <laughs> Do you think... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you think the, the chili dog is going to be poisoned and that's how he dies? <laughs> I want... You know, that's actually a really good question. I hope mm. not. That That's a terrible way to go. Poisoned. Well, at least it was tasty to the end. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Also, have a good dinner, Beetel. Enjoy your chili dog, Beetle. Okay, who exactly likes? What you're yeah, exactly. Who likes uh, chicken cordon bleu? I think I do. Oh like no, you're... I I oh, meant is there a cool. Sonic? <laughs> <laughs> me, me, of course. Yes, I, I was gonna say I think I've only had it like once or twice. Uh, that sounds like a like a bourgeois kind of meal. So like maybe like uh, like Rouge the Bat or like yeah. SBO or like yeah. I don't know, someone. Maybe. No, 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 I'm sure Chicken Cordon Blue is fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. Well, that's not good. And you're making chili dogs in a microwave? 
chicken cordon bleu? Like, is it like Panera bread, like packet chicken? <laughs> like, what's going on? I'm a little worried, Conductor. I think we should all be dead after this. Kinda, Oof. My stomach hurts thinking about this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure this little quiz is in order. What? What? Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Were you paying attention? Man, let me tell you, if they served Crab Ragoon, I'd... I'd... I'd kill, I'd... I'd punch, like, <laughs> seafood on an air... Actually... On, on, in, my, in front of my air fryer? In front oh of my, my God. <laughs> Actually, like okay. Microwave Crab Rangoon is a little dangerous for sure. Yeah, I, I can't believe a train that looks this nice only has a microwave. Like, y'all don't got at least, like, a two-star chef? Come on. I'm confused, and maybe I'm just ignorant. Sure. Spicy grilled picky? I think it's a type of fish. Oh, okay, good. I, I was thinking a pickle, and they were being cute. <laughs> no, I, I think I think it's a type of fish. I'll, I'll look it up secretly. Um, chicken cordon bleu. <laughs> That's correct. Ah, ding, ding, ding. Glad you can read the menu, okay. <laughs> A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. Oh. Even a bomb. We've had a lot of <laughs> no. adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. I can't escape, please. I haven't seen my wife in 20 years. But how'd you talk to her? Ah, oh, phones. I forgot about telephones. <laughs> After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively blah blah blah. Excuse the ex whoa, exclusively. Exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. What? Uh Oh, I don't know. local like 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 through traffic. Oh yeah 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 yeah. He just yeah. means like this is like a luxury kind of deal. Okay. Yeah yeah. Also, as an aside, I did look up spi spicy grilled picky. Nothing came up, so I don't I don't actually know what that is anymore. They were just who wants the spicy grilled picky? It's, it's, a, little, it's a little pickle. <laughs> it little probably is. It. <laughs> Put it in the microwave pepper. for two minutes. <laughs> I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Buddy, you uh, don't want a nice, like... I'd take a pleasant ride. Hmm. But I don't know. Maybe it's because I just watch too many videos and movies. There's gonna be... There's always a fake murder, and then there's a real murder. You know what yes, I mean? Yes, absolutely. It never goes right. It never goes yes. right, yeah. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car, as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? I'll make you proud, sir. <laughs> Glad this old man can rest easy. Why do you sound like you're dying? <laughs> you're just retiring. It's like he has like the blood cough. He like looks like his glove <laughs> and his little red. Oh, I'm one more day from retirement, please. <laughs> Gotta make it home to my wife. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. Hall aboard! Ooh, it's pretty. It it's really technological against the mountain. Oh yeah, look at that little, like, uh, green hill hill. Yeah, yeah, hi, green hills, huh? Pretty green. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> they're getting on. I wonder who that, that rowdy bunch is. I wonder. You want to be Tails? Uh, sure. All right. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I can't use, get used to staying on a train like this. Oh no, they're all gonna come out at us. Right? Oh no, yeah. <laughs> what did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. This train's uh, as yeah. elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Girl boss. <laughs> oh, do you want Knuckles? Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Calm down, Rouge. Did I just not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? 
It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? I messed up. Or did you want Shadow? I can take Knuckles if you want Shadow. Ooh. Is there anyone else? I don't- Yeah, you can take Knuckles. I'll take Shadow. Okay. I'll try it out. What cast of characters am I stuck with? Also, where is Shadow? He ain't talk. Get a hold of yourself, Seth. You're <laughs> sweating through your uniform. I'm telling you, he's the barista. <laughs> hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Oh, he's uh, the man of the hour. Uh, uh, of course, sir. <laughs> are, are you a pirate? <laughs> Not a good one. Oh, no. I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. Oh, it's Amy's birthday. Yeah. Oh, she has a little birthday cake crown. Yeah, it's so cute. I'll be coming around to collect everybody's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Seth, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with, and we'll collect their ticket. Uh, okay, got it. Oh my god. Oh my god, we have to go to him first. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Here. Thank you, everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Hmm. Do you sell gift bags here? He's just the type of bitch to buy a gift and not have a gift bag. <laughs> oh, uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. Ugh. That stare. Brr, so cold. Seth, you're severing. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Ha, huh. no, no, I'm good. This man bought a gift last minute before getting on the train and didn't even gift wrap it. And didn't even gift wrap it! Are you kidding me? Fake friend. Fake friend. Okay, hold on, hold on. So you're- Why can I click this? Overhead bin? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to be the overhead bin? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Best character. Oh. Oh, oh it's scary. <laughs> it's a chalkboard? What's going on? Oh, it's like I a guess. screen. It's like a virtual screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So you have- you have Shadow. You have, okay. um... Shadow, Rouge, yep. Vector, Sonic. Yep. yep. And you got Tails, Amy, yep. Knuckles. Yep. Um... Who do, you, who do you want, Blaze or Espio? Uh... I'll take Blaze and you do Espio. Okay. And then that I works. think we're... Then I think we're even. I think we're good. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna click this. Mmm, yummy! Don't mind if I do- Can I eat that? Okay. <laughs> Seth, those are for our guests, you know. I'm gonna miss him when he leaves. Yeah. Train, be sure Seth only gets one of those, one of those if they ask. What? He's the top piece of the train? <laughs> uh. Uh. Um, uh. Did, did the arm just kinda nod? Oh no. It's sentient. Actually, uh, train. The conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Bruh. <laughs> Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together for a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Whoa. Drat! Those snacks look really tasty, too. Alright. Let's do him next. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? What's Vector sound like? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. <laughs> that fits him perfectly. Listen, it's, it's I don't think I've ever heard him, but... <laughs> it's like, hey, Shadow, it's me. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Hi, Skurb. Hi. Hi Skurb. We're playing the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, and we just started. So you're yeah, right on no time. Murdered yet. Yeah. yeah. Although, I don't know. I mean... If if the chili dog kills him, he's already eaten it, so it's only a matter of time, I guess. It's true. It's true. <laughs> About uh, yeah, time. Yeah. He died. <laughs> uh, as, as a gentleman of upstanding morals, <laughs> I'd love to show you my ticket. But but 
He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have um, uh, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear you. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that would be amazing! Thanks a million! Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Alright. Where are we going next? Who are we talking to next? This uh, guy? Let's talk to... Uh, yeah, let's talk to Espia. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Could we please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Why does he have a rose? I don't know. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? Hey, buddy, what the fuck? I'm also a mind reader. He's the looking right at me. Of your credit card are four. <laughs> <laughs> I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Date by O. <laughs> wow, ninjutsu. That sounds like a lot of difficult training. And you cling on to walls? Conductor? <laughs> cling on to walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. Uh, okay. <laughs> the conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. He studied in the art of umami. <laughs> Alright, who are we Talk talking to, to some next? Of, some of the gals. Yeah, let's go birthday girl. <gasps> That's right. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting, it's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? Hey, who doesn't want to get spooked solid? <laughs> yeah, exactly, I guess. Except Alex, Alex does not. <laughs> You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, how fun! Thank you! Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday! This man just gave her a master key. Yeah, he really did. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. That's important. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. I'm sure it'll never come up again. It'll never come up again. Also, Skirp. I love murdering Sonic. Amy, probably. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Alright, who are we talking to next? This let's way? This way? Please. Alright, let's do it. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much, on top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. P princess Did you just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. Whoa, edgy. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Oh, oh, oh. you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. <laughs> I'm here for the gift bag. <laughs> should, should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? Oh no, poor Seth. Oh, Seth. That's really going through it. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? 
Good morning, Mom. Can we get your ticket? My, my. How forward. Let me fetch it for you. Hot girl shit. Let's go. She's definitely pulling out of her movies. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I'm back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow. She's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. And directly back into where she put her ticket. Like, from the boob. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Uh. Uh. Mm. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not be the best at judging character, actually. Also, Skurp, you're right. It is worse than sock money. But God, <laughs> is it funny fictionally. Wonderful. Also, Belleth has the best uh, voices. You you really have to hear him in other streams, especially uh, your stream from yesterday. Oh, I just use like the same five voices. <laughs> listen, awesome. listen. But it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> we could also tell and it was fun. Yeah, I wonder All if right. I get to use my little pigeon voice. <laughs> I hope so. For something. For we'll something, see. please. Um, all right, let's talk to, uh, the victim. <gasps> hey, it's me! <laughs> Check it, please. <clears throat> Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. I forget that he's a celebrity. <laughs> He's, I guess he's like a movie star, or he's like a superhero, or... I... Yeah, something. hmm, yeah. Yeah, I mean, huh? he looks like a sea captain right now. He really does. <laughs> Don't worry about it, I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. Okay, yeah, superhero. Nice. I can't offer much <laughs> other than my sincere gratitude. <laughs> Don't sweat a thing. I'm just glad that you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is is, is that is that Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> All right, Seth. <laughs> glad you're with us, buddy. <laughs> I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Y yes ha have fun have fun now will do thanks oh my god can you imagine this is the first time that seth is meeting sonic and sonic's gonna die right under his watch traumatizing traumatizing oh my god <gasps> the little detective little watson the little detective i like his little hat <laughs> yeah it's really cute can i get your tickets youngin Right here, sir. Thank you. May I, may I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way. I bought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Don't be You're nervous. Bonding. You're doing great so far. Yeah. <laughs> We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. <laughs> Are they special gummies? <laughs> I don't. Oh, no. I don't know. <laughs> Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. It it almost sounds like melatonin gummies, but like oh. I don't know. <laughs> nice. Maybe they're just like uh like you know how like uh Aizawa, uh My Hero Academia. You know how, you know how he's always eating that like jelly shit. Like maybe it's like that. Mm. <laughs> he needs some SSRI's tails. Oh! <laughs> Help, I'm cut off the screen! <laughs> oh, For a second this? I thought that was like a McDonald's hat, but I just can't, I can't, I can't read or look or see. <laughs> What's sticking out of the napkin holder? Oh. Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. 
All right, yeah, let's. Lost ticket. Yeah, let's give it to him. Find anything yet? Well, we just might have what you need. Seth, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? <laughs> oh my god, it's Ace Attorney. <laughs> Flash your attorney badge at him. <laughs> <laughs> this one. <laughs> oh, I'm starved. I'll take one of each. Hmm. On second thought, maybe I'll uh, wait a bit. Seth, I was referring to the other thing we picked up. He looks so disappointed in me. <laughs> <laughs> right, sorry. This one. Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. Was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. <laughs> Old Seth here would have had their hands full kicking you out. I feel like maybe I come up to maybe like below his chest. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to kick this man out. Uh, yeah, you'd be good. You'd be lucky if you made it up to the chain. And I don't think I can <laughs> yeah. get there. I don't think I can either. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. Oh my god, I'd be bite. dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Yeah, I think Yay. you're right, Skur. Probably the belt buckle. Yeah. Howdy! Could I please get your ticket? Oh no, hold on. I have to think of a southern accent for Knuckles. <laughs> southern <laughs> Knuckles! <laughs> Howdy, partner. I think that's a ticket? But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Knuckles. Bravo. 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 <laughs> Thank well you. Executed. Thank you. Standing ovation. I understand. <laughs> okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. Sonic, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely. You can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And... train? Assist Seth if they need any help, won't you? I just noticed that the arm has a little bow tie. That's so cute. Very polite. Yeah. Very dapper. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I need to hear. You have my trust and my love. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place, either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Seth here if you need anything. This feels like Sonic x Mystery on the Orient Express x Polar Express. Yeah, I'm picking up the same vibes, yeah. Nice. Sounds good! Absolutely! Will do! Goodbye now! I like that guy! Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Oh, they're, they're going all out. They really are. Lore cards. That must be the details of their motivations. 
I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered, and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required because it is my birthday. Of course! Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the oh. dining car. Beautiful. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Uh, hold on, hold on. Got it. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> I had to, like, mute myself to try and get Southern. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare the Southern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rouge, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Oh. Uh. <laughs> She's like, uh. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck, why did I put up with this shit? <laughs> I want to go back to my other dimension. Yeah. Hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what, Reed? Maybe we can make a towers of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Oh, he's a locksmith, not a barista. Damn it. Ah, damn. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the chat stuff of Vector. I, I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> what else are we going to use those books for? <laughs> and last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Uh, yes. <laughs> is, she, is, she, wait, 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 is she asking Seth or like us? I, <laughs> think, I don't know. I guess Seth. So. Oh my god, Amy. I'm scared. Ah, I was listening in. I hope that's okay. More than all right, you can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. Whoa. I have a map for each of you. Yeah, she really went all out. Why is it, uh... <laughs> among Us. <laughs> yeah, Among Us, really, though. Why is Knuckles yellow? I don't know. Oh, because Tails isn't a character. He's the detective. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah, no, yeah, no, he's not a character. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. Everyone's station is marked- oh, Hold on, everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Hmm, Shadow's the closest to Sonic. Oh, mm. I see. A little jealousy, perhaps. Hmm. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. Amongst us. <laughs> The murderer can kill a single participant, however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow, fellow passengers to figure out who done it. <laughs> who done it? <laughs> the murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can. Find clues. Interrogate. Just tackle each other. I don't know. Fucking go crazy. <laughs> Just go crazy. It's fine. <laughs> I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle. And the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations. Oh, God. Why are they both me? <laughs> there, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is so exciting. A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. Uh, okay, you pick the option. <laughs> uh, let's see. How thrilling. I have goosebumps. Same. Ah, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? 
Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. I know about the detective, but the journalist can't be the murderer? Mm. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't seem to make sense. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that. I don't know, honest. yeah. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. I guess that makes sense. I I feel like mm. you should have... I don't know. I, I Like, I, I should know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess the general knowledge is they're a locksmith. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Oh, that's oh. a herb. It's cute. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. That fits you. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, that kind of sounds this kind of sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Huh? The train started moving. It, it's so fast. Grab onto something. What is going on? Uh, ah, I'm slipping. Uh, hold on! I- I can't! Ah! Ah! <laughs> You're everyone! <laughs> I'm everyone! <laughs> no! <clears throat> what Whoa. the f- How'd I get all the way back here? Uh, well, there's the microwave. You're both awake! Y yeah. Seems the train has slowed down considerably. Um, is everyone all right? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Seth, can you go get the door? Of course! Uh... Hmm. Seems the door is blocked, and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen chef a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Uh... Huh? She doesn't have it. Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. That's sus. Sus. Sussy. Sus. 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 She vented. I saw. I saw it. I I'll search over here. Uh, I know Amy. She's hiding something. Uh, huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Mm. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. What if that just triggers Tails' as, like, fake trauma? No! <laughs> the flicky. The flicky. No. <sighs> Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. 
But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? <laughs> but on the bright side, they separated the recyclables. <laughs> What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? Let me get out of here, sure! The art is really good, isn't it? Welcome. Welcome! I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. You Tails seem like, like the type of guy. Yeah, Tails would make a good, like, breakfast, like, omelet. You know? Yes! Like, like, yes. Oh, like a little, I don't know, a little, like... Parsley, little... Yeah, something. like like you wake up early to go visit him so he'll feed you. Yeah, breakfast is already ready when you're woken up. You know <laughs> yeah, you know? He's absolutely. He's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. Haha. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I want to eat a Tails' house. I'm about it. Let's go. I've only had microwave lunches this week. Oh, poor Sethi, it's God. Oh. oh, man. Ah, the wet floor sign, keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. <laughs> And then Shadow came and saved him, <laughs> but then he also slipped on the juice. <laughs> we slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. Okay, I have ads coming up in a minute, so let's take a quick ad break. Ooh. Um, yeah, ad break. I take three minute ads on the hour, so that way we don't have too many interruptions. Um, thank you for watching the ads, I appreciate it. Uh, it gets me ad revenue. It means you guys don't have to watch pre-roll ads. Uh, if you don't want to see any ads, please consider subscribing to me. You'll also get access to my subscriber emotes. Um, but yeah, let's let's meet back in three minutes. I'm gonna get up and stretch. Yeah. Oh, thank you for the head pat. I am sure. Okay, I need to figure that out. I need to figure out. I need to do head pats when I have people in here too. You you also Ooh. deserve head pats. I'm Thank sure you. I can figure it out somewhere. Okay, let that's, me let me do. That sounds like a lot of coding. Maybe. Let me do my BRB. Let me do an ad break. And then let me mute myself.
So unmute myself. There we go. Why she have that spoon like that? Why does she have that spoon like that though, right? I think she just like forgot her hammer at home or something. I think so too. I think she was like, this isn't my character. I can't bring my hammer. Yeah. Okay, the ads are done. Thanks for watching the ads. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's get back to business. And the business is... Whatever the fuck Amy's doing. Maybe she's just confused. Maybe she's just like, what is this? Maybe. What's this? A rod? Oh my god. <laughs> it's her broken hammer. It's her broken hammer. The tip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. You got a stick. I got a stick. The shelf blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey Seth, look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. Oh, I wonder how the side of the shelf got smashed. <laughs> I don't know, maybe with a, a hammer? <laughs> maybe. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack, Crack on the, on the shelf. Added to your inventory. Thank you. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out. On a train. Ah! That's silly, Amy. <laughs> I'll keep looking. Uh, you want to talk or start the interrogation? Uh, let's talk to her first, see if she has anything else to add. And then we'll swoop in. Find any clues yet? Oh, wait. Okay, oh, we did oh, that. Oh, it's just the same thing. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bamboozled. All right. Bamboozled indeed. Take that! Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Hmm, well, we know that she she's technically not allowed to murder a suspect. And I don't think she microwaved a chili dog. I'm the microwave operator. She can't do that without me. That's right, that's right. So maybe... Maybe... Maybe it's her fur. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she probably attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while Seth and I don't think you were sitting idly while Seth and I were knocked out. Nice. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Uh -oh. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape, or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Seth, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. Alright, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? Did, uh, it's did, did, we, did we flash our badge? <laughs> uh, chili dog, uh, yeah sure. Yeah! Happens. Hmm, I'm not sure this will convince Amy. Let's give it another try. At least we don't have a health bar. At least we don't have a health bar, yeah. I'm guessing it's the broken piece of the- not, not the stick, but that the crack on the shelf. Yeah. What? Some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over! Damage makes sense! 
You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oh. Damn. Okay, Amy. <laughs> Oof. Okay, Tails. What now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself. Uh, you see... Uh, I... Well... Hmm. When I get stumped, I like to think. Good what job, would Sonic guys. do? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> see you later! <laughs> she, like, cuts to Sonic. Go. <laughs> Just fucking eats a chili dog and zooms <laughs> off. <laughs> This tales. I well, deal with this. <laughs> actually, eats a chili dog, does a flip, and then speeds off. <laughs> yeah. What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing bad nicks. He never loses. Like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Do. You do you think he plays a Sonic-themed one? No, that's lore-breaking. Can't be. Okay. Uh, Fair enough. He plays, he plays uh, Maze Puzzle Run, Temple Run. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got there. I got there eventually. Uh, sure. Whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. Oh! Hi! <laughs> I remember the pitfalls? <laughs> oh, you have to run. I think I have to run. All right, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback, like, like Sonic Ungen would do. Rumpa. It really <laughs> is. <Rumpa> taxi. <laughs> yeah. Thinking time. <laughs> oh my god. All right, you got this. I got this. A am I supposed to press all of them? Okay. Yeah, yeah all at once. <laughs> How? You get rings. Yeah. Yeah, look at me go. Nice. This is gonna get harder. Ooh. What if I can fall off? Rings. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Eureka! <laughs> <laughs> sure, the chef. <laughs> sure, the, the shelf chef. fell. <laughs> it was the chef all along. <laughs> it was the chef all along. But there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived? You're telling me a train kept this well? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. That's my favorite type of joke. <laughs> well, I, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? Oh. Chicken cordon blue. <laughs> Chicken cordon blue. You're right. It's my weakness, Skirp. <laughs> what is that? A stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Again? Oh, time to, time to run. Damn. <laughs> yeah, let me go. <laughs> All right. I'm just a figment of your imagination, Tails. <laughs> I'm a representation of your inner psyche. <laughs> 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 oh. That was awesome. <laughs> I gotta say, though, I, I do love it. I love it. <laughs> You're right. A stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could... Like, let's say... A hammer. Uh, oh! This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer! Oh. <gasps> you attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off! Uh... Ah! That's this is the breaks down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that's the Phoenix breakdown. It's as you both said. I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whap, and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. Okay, but if she was sorry, she would have just told us, and we wouldn't have wasted, like, 
30 minutes where someone could be dying. Yeah. It's still kind of sus in a way. Yeah. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It was a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed! If the image pops up and it just has a little tape on it, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Tails, thank you! According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. Nope, it's just fully oh. fixed. Alright, okay. Okay. Alright, stand back! Th the shelf completely shattered. Incredible! We did it! We're free! Great job, Amy! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Let's get out of here and maybe see other people! <laughs> see other people! <laughs> Please! Oh no! Oh no! Wait, is that. Oh no! no. It can't be! Well. Sonic! Somebody murdered my darling Sonic! <laughs> She's so happy! <laughs> She really is. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. A Amy, wait. I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. So are we just she not going to check on Sonic? She dead. does look too happy. I'm so dead. <laughs> what a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is he really oh, no. dead, though? Sonic? What if he just said, Oh yeah, thank you! Thanks! <laughs> eh, eh, body numb can't move! Eh. <laughs> the chili dogs had gluten. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to... Rest. I can't believe he really did get hurt by the chili dog. <laughs> Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery or is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh no, oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Seth, what do I do? <laughs> I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? <laughs> uh, <laughs> these guests are incredibly more renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. <laughs> hey, why didn't we get this? <laughs> I don't know. So I leave you their I leave their care to you, Seth, my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. <laughs> But isn't this the first time we met? I, isn't is this my even... first day on the job? I, I'm confused. This didn't happen. Is this, is this his interpretation <laughs> of the events before? I, or maybe am I just psychically communicating. <laughs> I don't oh, know. Yeah. Maybe Seth is just an unreliable narrator. Mm. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Up in heaven. <laughs> so Sonic's just actually dead? I... I don't know. I think... Mm. That that chili dog went down the wrong way. That's what I think. Yeah, maybe he just... Yeah, he's just having tummy issues. Yeah. And he's being very brave about it. Oh, look at this place! Alright, who are we calling out to? Uh, how about Tails? Alright. Seth, I'm over here! I, 
think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Um, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? Or dead? <laughs> oh no, I'm so scared. <laughs> he, he's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. Oh boy. I, look, with every word, I'm just like, he got poisoned by the chili dog. <laughs> yeah. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, promise. Oh boy. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. What if he is just taking a nap, though? He probably yeah, it's probably He's probably <laughs> fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Flashback. Is this... <laughs> yeah, flashback. <laughs> what did he say? I don't really remember. Uh, he said, body numb, can't move. I'll just rest here for a minute. Okay, so maybe it was like a paralytic or something. And yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Which maybe might be part of the murder mystery game. They were like, yeah, exactly. yo, we gotta make this really real, so, um, we'll just kill you. Kinda. Mm. <laughs> uh, or is there something deeper happening? Like, especially with the conductor, he's like, oh, they have to have a, a perfect experience. Yeah, like, uh, or uh, part of me is getting a little sus of conductor, because it's like, oh, they're probably rich. Like, did he did he poison <laughs> Sonic so Sonic couldn't save them to get their money or something? Or someone did, I don't know. All right. So here's the two theories that I'm getting from here. Either the conductor is evil, or Sonic signed an NDA and he's in on it. <laughs> Could be, yeah. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. I need more evidence to figure out what's machine. going on. I know! I know! He He's one day from retirement! He's one day from retirement. He can't go to I jail! Because that's the thing. That's always the twist, right? We're going to start thinking he's sus, and then we're going to find him dead, and then we're going to be like, oh, shit. And then, yeah, you know, yeah! So... Yeah, because he, he's one day from retirement. He's either dying or going to jail. Like You're never just one day from retirement. You, you never retire. retire. Or you're dead. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. There's no in between. <laughs> Alright, how we saying it? Uh, I don't want to say it's my job. Can I tag yeah. along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Now, if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Ha. <laughs> Fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. Yeah. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because... Uh, where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. So edgy. Yeah, he really is. Even with that face. Not a proper detective without baggage. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I'm dead inside. Oh no, okay. Oh, Take luck. one. <laughs> uh, okay. You varmints. <laughs> hold on, hold on, my alarm won't stop alarming. Oh, okay, no. I got it. We're just getting all of your characters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, what are y'all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. Oh. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Seth, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues, and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Look at that wanted Omo Chow. I know. Decent cash award for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. 
Poor Omochao. Hate to see them like this. What'd they do? <laughs> Medical malpractice. <laughs> Medical malpractice. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, uh, there's always something in the trash. Always. That's, that's exactly. Mm. Let's check there. Sadly, oh. this one's empty as well. Damn. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. <laughs> it's as they say. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Haha. Haha. -ha. I think Tails is ignoring me. Oh, no. Thank you for treating and hydrating, Pando. Breathtaking views. This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters. Though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. Ah! That's dangerous, Tails. That is dangerous. That. Uh, I'll never understand this friend group. Take off your soap shoes, Tails. It's not good to grind on all the rails. <laughs> Seth, this is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. Seth, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we should log this. More used cups. More used cups. <gasps> Snacks. Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kinda bland. Huh. See... Seems what? like someone licked all the salt off them. <laughs> what, what the fuck? <laughs> Lick, licked? Licked? Conclusion. Seth? I don't know. Maybe they were just unsalted. Maybe. What? What? Tui. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, maybe they're just unsalted. <laughs> wow! What a roller coaster. What a roller coaster. Oh, okay. Let me get over there. Hand. The robotic arms here are really helpful. Mm -hmm. Affirmative. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's so shy. What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What, what interesting tech. Uh oh. Should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? Oh no. So this robot arm looked at me and was like, Man, you fucking sloppy. Let me fix you up. Robots are taking all our jobs. They really are. Alright. <laughs> Howdy, partners. Also, Skurb, you're right. Probably had chocolate on him. Huh, that's funny. The door is locked tight. We can't go any further. I I wonder how Amy was able to leave them. Here's Good point. Key. Yeah, you're right. When were these doors locked, and how long were they locked for? We'll have to keep this in mind. I think we interacted with everything. You're telling me, though, that we can't crawl oh, wait. those, like, barn stills or whatever they're called? Right! Oh, maybe there's a door <laughs> behind that. Ah, uh, true, true. <laughs> <gasps> Bidgey games. Clearly, we won't <gasps> be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. <laughs> Sega owned IP, we can say. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it broke when the prank when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from punches? Uh-oh. Who could have done that? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. What are you two looking at me for? <laughs> I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. All right, it's your time to shine. I thought I told you to leave me alone. 
<laughs> I like your I like your hat. <laughs> <clears throat> Why are you embarrassed? Baka. <laughs> Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said leave. <laughs> Can I take your order? Can I take your order? Mm, not hungry. Well, if you ever are, you'll let me know, won't you? Sure. Like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Seth. You're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it. God. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Let's start the interrogation. Knuckles, Seth and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. <laughs> You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Huh? It, it is? We have evidence, too. Yeah, isn't it, isn't it so good? <laughs> Thank you. We do? Thank you. Seth, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Chicken cordon blue! <laughs> Wrong choice, Seth. Let's try again. <laughs> Seth, dude, you're fucking fired. Yeah, you're. <laughs> He's like, man, you're always gonna be a sidekick. The arcade machine? <laughs> what makes you think I touched it? There, there, there's an, uh, a fist imprint. Your fist. Oh, thinking time! It's me! Here I go! Ow! Watch out for oh, fuck. death! Fuck! Oh shit! There's more shit! Oh god! Oh my god, I see! Maybe I should have put that up. Oh my god! You can do it! Woo! We don't got uh -oh. enough! <laughs> Not enough rings! Uh, well, uh, you see, we. You have no argument here. You are weak. <laughs> Whoa. Ouch. Seth, let's follow that train of thought again, shall we? <laughs> Fisting, huh? Yeah, Better call Rouge. Again. She'll know more. <laughs> Time to go. Watch out for spike balls. <laughs> Woo. Nice dodge. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, oh, we damn. good this time. 12, 13 more rings in before. Wow, nice. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm gaming. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Oh, hold on. Uh. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because. Oh, You're fuck, what? You playing it? You lost? <laughs> uh. The, ar the second one. <laughs> <laughs> what? You mean his hair isn't there? <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what evidence do you have that, that the damages are punches? Hmm. Uh. What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch. Oh, hold on. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I have rage inside me, Tails. <laughs> I can't control it. I just need to get it out. Get it out of me. <laughs> I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. He lost the game. How will you? I'm on it. Seth, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Uh, do I have to fight? Okay. <laughs> I was I like, am I gonna have to fight him? <laughs> I challenge you to a duel. Draw. 
Oh my god. Whoa, 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 oh what god. the this fuck? Is, this is scary. Oh my no. What the no. fuck? No. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Why are you jumping so high? <laughs> I don't Why know. Do do <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you did it. Ah. Hey, yes! <laughs> The arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. <laughs> oh yeah, he lost. <laughs> Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Bruh, he lost by one. He lost. That says Vector. I thought that said Vegeta for a second. <laughs> I was like, he lost the Vegeta by one. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and then there's that toast apple bread ultimate bagel candy. Ooh. Okay. What does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. <laughs> the picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you! <laughs> and in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. <laughs> oh no, he's going crazy. <laughs> he's punching the air in frustration. You, you did that perfectly, actually. <laughs> You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. So, um... He's, he's, it's not the lipstick, right? <laughs> I... Okay, okay. Like, I saw the lipstick and I'm like... But, Rouge, but Rouge... But, but, but Rouge wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, so... You Oops. have nothing, zilch, nada, now leave you two. D does Espio wear lipstick? No. Quick, Seth, let's try this again. It's, it's definitely Rouge's lipstick. Or yes. Blaise, did Blaze really wear lipstick? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you I'm have sorry. No zilch, nada, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Maybe I should put Fake the assist gamer. on, what the fuck? <laughs> Woo! Sonic! Sonic. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ow! It's okay, I'm good. Whoa, whoa! Nice jump. Whoa! Whoa! Whew. Oh, we good. Woo! Alright! Boingo, boingo! <laughs> now, Seth, what proves Vector was- Uh, now, Seth, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? Chicken cordon bleu? Oh, Chicken let's cordon bleu. Let's, let's look at the map. Can you hit the little, uh... What do you want me to hit? Well, we know that Vector is supposed to be in the next one over, right? Yes. I mean, I guess it has to be the cups, I guess, but that doesn't prove it was Vector. I mean, I guess it's the cups. It can't be the Yeah. Man. Yeah, I guess it's the cups. Oh, and there's Dead Sonic. Yeah. Because there's three cups, so... Yeah. Knuckles, Vector, Rouge, I'm guessing. I guess. No. I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's... Uh, I'm not... It's not like... It's not. I wasn't. Uh, d don't, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say. Vector popped in at the top of the hour, wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we when we did, we competed for the highest score. <laughs> Knuckles took on Rouge during the cup song. Oh, when he bested me, I I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in, honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story. And alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Then why'd you give us the runaround? As you smell. <laughs> I 
I don't know. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what are the cup with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. <laughs> that they just have... <laughs> Here's my photo of her that I carry around. <laughs> It's inconsequential. Definitely a word I would say. Not worth mentioning. I don't believe you. He searched around for something but failed. Made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. And pretty and cute and <laughs> voluptuous. <laughs> <laughs> but you offered her a drink, apparently? Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm. I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our qu- Actually! Oh, that's God. not everything, is it, Knuckles? Jesus! <laughs> Get off my back! <laughs> I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Oh! Seth, can you take a look one more time? Shit, yeah, what was it? I didn't catch An it. An odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? Post Apple Bread Ultimate? 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 Life Form Shadow! <laughs> <laughs> It has to be Shadow. Wait, Ultimate? Ultimate, ultimate yeah. Uh. It's, All it's the other shadow. names have a... <laughs> it's beautiful. All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Ultim? You may not know, Seth, but there is someone here that goes by the title. The Ultimate Life Form. Oh boy. <laughs> Hello. And he just carries a picture of Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Th there's really someone here that goes by that? What would you like to order? <laughs> it's like the drive through <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a venti, uh... <laughs> oh, nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? He taught us that the game was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. But there was Toast above that. Oh, okay, he got his name on the scoreboard. He didn't do very well. He didn't do very well. <laughs> They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. A key. Oh. Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it for anyone. Then, he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right! Key. Yeah, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? So many mysteries! There I don't is. know, they didn't tell me, <laughs> even though I asked with that cowboy accent. <laughs> You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. We More information than I expected to get here, to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library's in the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails. And Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Well do, Sheriff. Come on, Seth, let's head to the library. 
on it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Seth! I'm coming. Hold on, let me let me save real quick. I just I realize oh, it's wow. been a while since we saved. Oh, as in never. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Good good idea. Ready to mosey down to the next car? You got it, partner. Onwards. We did it. <laughs> a good save, but Hang Ooh. in there, baby. I like this car, but maybe an open fi uh, fireplace near a library is a bad idea on the train. Uh, maybe that's a bad idea, right? Yeah, I think so. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Oh. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, SBO, and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Hmm. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Uh, have you found any leads yet? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl. Ah, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick! What hell are you gonna leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course. It's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. <laughs> Alright. And I'm, uh... Here to ask if anyone's hungry. My job! <laughs> Starved! I'm, I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right about now. We don't have Vector. that. That's not on the menu, Vector. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here we, go. Here we go. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry. A resident message from poet to reader, meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic, rhythmic of prose. Nerd! <laughs> Can I hear some? Uh, uh sure, uh, uh... <clears throat> Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la. D d d d. Okay, before we continue, can we just talk about these guys? They're so cute. Aww. That's a... Okay. That's a speed type chow on the right. This one? Um, the, like the blue one. Okay. The blue-green one. Then the red one, I think, is a power type. Neutral. Okay. And then the top one is a hero... It's just a hero neutral. And then okay. the other one, you can't tell it's a baby or a neutral because it has an egg on his head. That's what I thought. I love it. It's so cute. Oh, they use the actual animals from Sonic Adventure 2 as well. Oh! What was that? <laughs> was that it? <laughs> I'm filling in my own lines. It's a little bit of both. <laughs> I have more if you like. <laughs> Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm, uh, satisfied for now, thanks. A at least he's rhyming, I suppose. Seth and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car. Where Amy told me and Espio to stay. 
I promptly pick a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Yeah? Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stand on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then, she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, no way, at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to get to the, uh, to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car. Then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up on Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car, where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us Sonic... Uh, Sonic murdered Sonic. <laughs> someone <laughs> murdered Sonic. That's a lot of supposing for someone who hardly saw him go. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. With all these locked doors, it seems Victor or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. <laughs> and if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. Look at the sparkles. Ching ching. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post, and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely! Alright, very important. Yeah. That poster with the chow that says hang in there. Yes. Very important. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there. Wow! I really needed to see this. <laughs> Me too, Tails. Huh. This little chow's hanging in there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety, because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way that there was that much thought put into this poster. Mm -mm. Right? No, it's abstract. Ooh, brochures! There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Seth, oh. look at this! There's a couple of maps here! This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. Hmm. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. The library map. <laughs> Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, there's stalactites. Nah, leave it. <laughs> that's boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, haha. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. <laughs> oh. 
Seth is a, Seth likes to watch Cave It's Gone Wrong on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. Seth, a character oh after my heart. I don't want to work today. <laughs> a lot of those were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. <laughs> yes, Still sir. bleeding out on the floor. <laughs> Me, yeah, Sonic, meanwhile, in the other car. I, I, my body, it's still paralyzed. <laughs> Everything except my colon. Oh, no. <laughs> Just push me to the bathroom, please. <laughs> oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. And then I can pick up this book. Ooh, good catch. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck. This reeks of the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. <laughs> yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What, what kind of recipes? Who, who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelette. You may not be wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. Good talk. I... Oh. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. How do you lock it? How do you lock yourself on the way out with a padlock? I don't know. How did he do that? Chaos hey, control. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> There's got to be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock. Oh my god. Beautiful. Right, let me back up. Hold on. <laughs> Every time I do vector, I like shout to the heavens. <laughs> Did you bring me any meat to chop? <laughs> I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. <laughs> Dude, don't bring some. Don't bring a real cleaver <laughs> to a con, man. We all know this. Yeah. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of, of authenticity tales. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup-stained apron, not a butcher. <laughs> also, you're right. Only his meat cleaver. You still got the veggie one. I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm. But what if I hid the knife? <laughs> then we definitely think you're the murderer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Uh, can I take your order? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yes, please! I'm starved! Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. Then why <laughs> would you show the menu to me? He's got a point. He's got a point. Please don't gaslight gatekeep girl boss me. I'm hungry. <laughs> Come on, Seth. Why would you tease him like that? And here I thought I could trust you. You've made a fool of me. <laughs> Time to die. Get in my mouth. Ah! <laughs> Look, Seth, you've made him a fool. Oh, Scarf, thanks for the bits. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, thank you. G come on, Seth, let's move this over. No, I'm the fool. Yeah! Yeah! It was You're a bit a time! <laughs> I smoothed things over, but at what cost? Oh no. <laughs> oh! I couldn't click this stuff before, I don't think. Mmm, more stuff. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy, so plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. 
Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. No, Seth, no, don't go. <laughs> Seth, no, don't fall asleep! Please. There's been a murder, remember? <laughs> if I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time. I'd have two rings, which isn't a lot, but it's strange <laughs> that it happened twice. There it is! <laughs> A globe of our marvelous planet! I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly! Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. Ah. Sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. Yes, that's real. That's a real That's person. real? Okay. <laughs> yes. He'll tell you everything about the area and make one scrumptious sandwich. It, is that also real? I don't remember <laughs> it being that well. <laughs> I think I blocked it out. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? Okay, he's I have a... another... Oh, good. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, he's... Professor Picker... Pickle has a doctorate in... Um... Sandwichology. I don't know. Oh, there I was gonna say joke. pickling, so but yeah, <laughs> the pickling pro. Well, on that note, we have ads again. A three-minute ad break for us. Thank you for watching the ads. I appreciate it. It helps me gain ad revenue, and means that you guys don't have to watch pre-roll ads before we go on an ad break. As a quick aside, this is Belith. He's cool. You can Hi. follow Belith. Here. That's me. That's him. Yeah. Alright, let's go on a quick ad break and I'll see you guys in three minutes. Um Yeah, let's do that. Okay.
Thank you for the stretch redeem, Skurv. I did a little stretchy. Okay, I did a big stretchy, but I stretched. I also have been hydrating. I've been drinking uh, Ruibos uh, Earl Grey tea. It's amazing. Yeah, Tamagotchi time indeed. Yeah, woo boss. Oof. So as an aside, because uh, Bella went to the bathroom and my ads are almost done. Um, I was practicing piano today. And uh, I've been practicing Beethoven. And um, listen, listen, if I could go back in time and beat up Beethoven for this piece, like what the hell was he thinking with the Fifth Symphony? He really popped off there and not in a good way. This shit's hard as fuck to play. <laughs> Why I gotta cross my hands so much? Why I gotta do that? Yeah, popped off negative. He was like, he he, wouldn't it be funny if <laughs> that was probably the cocaine? <laughs> probably, probably, cause like <laughs> for the flare, gay hand gesture. Listen, this man changes clefs so much in like the lower like section of the piano. I hate that shit. Why I gotta do all that? Why I gotta move so much? Why was he like, oh, I gotta just, I gotta, I gotta move my hand as far as possible, as much as possible. Why did he do that? He popped off a little too much. <laughs> Clef aggro. Really though? It was, it was unpleasant. Um, but I'm learning and it's cool. There's like a... There's like seven different chords in a row that I'm like, I can't read this. I just have to memorize this. Um, it's going. <laughs> if piano was PvP. Listen, really though, there's a section where like my right hand is under my left hand. No, wait, hold on. Yeah, my right hand's under my left hand. And then it's over my left hand, and then it's under, and well, I gotta do all that. <laughs> I swear, it's like Beethoven makes me suffer on the piano. Fucking John Philip Sousa makes me suffer in all of his military suite for E flat shit. Like, why y'all want clarinets to play so high? We're not violins. Please. Hi. I'm sorry Hi. for your suffering. Thank you. As a former violin player, I kind are of you, understand. Are you really? Yeah. I used to oh. I think I still have it somewhere. I didn't know that. That's actually really cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I was really into it in middle school, but then my high school never had an orchestra, so I had to... I, I, like, I tried to play it for the band. Like, they gave me the oboe part because <laughs> it was in the same, like... Oh, but that's really hard. It, yeah. Exactly. And then I just yeah. kind of fell out of it because, like, the teacher didn't know the violin, and then I was just kind of like, oh, do it on your own, and then I didn't. <laughs> so I yeah. Kind of a string instrument is really hard to kind of play through, like, you know, school, unless, like, that school is, like, good, <laughs> that has an orchestra. <laughs> what I really Oboe. liked about our middle school was, like, our, we had, like, a lot of, you know, violas, violin players. We had a bass, like, the big mm -hmm. bass. Yeah. Uh, and I was allowed to play it for like one song for like a concert. It was really cool. Oh, I bet that was cool. I love those. Yeah. That's wild. Wow. Today I learned. You know, I feel like almost every friend I have has played some sort of instrument in some way. Instruments are fun. Yeah, band geeks really do just band together, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Do you think... There's trash in this trash can. God, I hope so. Me too. I think it's funny how many of us play clarinet. I agree! It's really weird! Nice! Something's always hidden in the trash, so let's check there. I hate to say it, but... There's nothing here. You hate to say it, Tails? You hate to say it? I don't know. 
I think you're a little smug. Ah, <laughs> uh, I really thought there'd be something there. Seth, are you sad there was nothing in the trash can? N n no no I'm all right. I'm not crying. Uh, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there'll be something else hidden in the next trash bin we find. Don't patronize Tails. <laughs> you really think so? Um, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay. These trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. Seth, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Was that supposed to be a compliment? All right, uh, hold on. Is there anything else? The, the, the globe already? Yeah, we got the globe. Okay. That was the last uh, Spagonia, thing we did. Spagonia thing. Yeah, yeah Spagonia. Yeah. Oh! Mm -hmm. I just realized. <gasps> Ooh. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Help! Hurry, <laughs> Tails! <laughs> I'm dying over here! <laughs> Alright, let's move on then. Hmm. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. <laughs> no! <laughs> scavenging. <Don't> <laughs> <laughs> He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. Mm -hmm. I know some books are falling out on the floor and everything, but. Every book on this shelf is in alphabetical order, but this one... Sonic. <laughs> Hello? I'm not dead yet. You could have at least given me a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> it's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it's interesting. Let's make a note of this. Mirage Express Manual is added to the inventory. I think we found enough clues. Oh, I think that's Professor Pickle on the wall above the bookshelf to the right. Oh, oh okay. I'm pretty sure that is, yeah. I believe you. Let's go interrogate Victor and Espio to find out what really happened. We still haven't oh, even boy. talked to Espio. Fancy a poem? No. All right. Uh, Do you want one about space or trains? Space, please. Space, please. I've made it up to space with my beloved antique vase. But a mistake in my haste dropped the vase from my embrace. So my antique I might not, must now replace. Oh, I'm snapping. I'm snapping. He's this spitting. Poem is very based. <laughs> What caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply, it's just a poem. <laughs> he hasn't thought it through, has he? I have a poem about this. My starved stomach babbled, though I ignore the grumbling tummy, for the eggs I receive are scrambled when I asked for my eggs, Sunny. Isn't it pronounced Voss? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Um, we don't serve any eggs on the train, though. My talent is wasted on you lot. He's the man that fucking went to theater school, and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna knock it out of the park on this murder mystery with the poet. But then everyone's just kind of losing character, and they're just like... Ah, whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vector went to go play video games. <laughs> SPO is like full LARP mode. Yeah, he really is. <laughs> Train LARP. Um, I guess... Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. <clears throat> so the two of you don't believe us, huh? <laughs> it's not that I don't trust either of you. But I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity, the validity of your alibis. Seth and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? Oh wait, Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to prevent evidence if neat. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. <laughs> I fucking 
and stop caring. <laughs> uh. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough. Hector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remembered the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library card, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading. But were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was! <gasps> Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. Nerd? It must have been a good read. What was the book? Mm. Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? Ah, oh, he's got what a point. If it was, what if it was porn? What if it was fanfic? What kind of things do you think I read? Fanfic. <laughs> if you won't talk, I have a hunch on what that book might be. Seth, could it you help me out? Porn, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what book do we think Espio may have been reading? The one you found. No, no, the menu. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> hmm, some detectives you are. Seems like that was the wrong choice. What book could Espio have been reading? <laughs> yeah, it's probably this one. Oh, wait, hold on. I missed the flavor text on it. Uh, and it exists in the manual of the... Oh, you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was trying to, like, go back to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem to mention how to drive the train, which would have been neat. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, I just coughed. <laughs> <laughs> A manual? You think Espio was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Oh. <laughs> so I don't. It's me again. <laughs> this time you need 40. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, 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 they're getting rid of the land there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> wow! You are both grasping. I knew it. We got this, Seth. Let's try again. I believe... It's like special stages. Kind of cool. Whoa. Oh, my. Oh, my. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Light bulb! <laughs> cool! <laughs> there are books scattered around the floor, sure. But the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual. Meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. <laughs> Why are you sweating? This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, Espio. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my my friend, my pal like this. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. He asked for no pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. <laughs> Alright. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Seth, if you don't mind. Ah. Could you ask SPO some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz SP about the manual to prove he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, 362. I think so. Okay.
Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterward. <gasps> I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. That's why we haven't been finding clues in the trash. <gasps> Maybe. Though, I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. Oh, okay. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like SBO aced that question. Seth, hit him with another one. Oh, okay. What page do I choose? Um, 89? Yeah, let's do it. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds, and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. What the fuck? Gee. The person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one, Seth. Let's see if Espio can go three for three. Gotcha. Which page should I pick last? 402, because it's almost 420. <laughs> what was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? What if I just yes. said no? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Totally. It's wild you were able to retain all this information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that! <laughs> Almost he as if you were a no nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they would- Oh. No, go ahead. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I feel like they would both be like that he asked for no pickles. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> I just like doing it in the vector voice. No, it's funny. It's so funny. <laughs> it's slowly growing on me. I, I feel like they, they wouldn't do it for either of each other, but <laughs> <laughs> they're definitely doing it for, like, the other. And we don't, you know, it's funny. I think Charmy, if Charmy was here, he's like the last member of Team Chaotix. He would be mm -hmm. the one who, who asked for like, because like, he's like a high pitched voice. Like, it's Charmy. You know what I mean? Uh huh. That'd be a good dynamic. Maybe he's the one that asked for no pickles. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe. He, well, he's the one that got the Happy Meal but didn't get a toy, I think. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no. I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can... Espia, was that true? Victor was the only one to see you reading. Yes, that's correct. Problem. Oh, big problem. Frankly, I don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Seth? Uh, he always puts me on the spot. <laughs> okay. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw SBO reading. But what? Was the... it Shadow locking the door? That's what I think, yeah. Shadow's lock? Please, pray tell, what this has to do with anything. We're up, Seth. Let's get our argument together. <laughs> Let's get our <laughs> argument together, and then I just pull out... The Game Boy. Oh my god. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Gotta think fast. <laughs> oh fuck.
my physical body might be dead, but my spirit lives on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I went the wrong way. Ow. Ooh! Nice, God nice. Damn it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's okay. Ooh. You got this, you got this. Ooh, ooh. Ah! Uh, nice <laughs> oh. No, not enough. Close. So close. Okay. Let me try again. Hmm. Consider my time wasted. Let's give this another go, Seth. Ba -bum 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 -ba -dum -bum. <laughs> I am a representation of your justice! <laughs> <laughs> With every ring I collect, build your confidence and your, uh, uh, <laughs> uh help me out. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 geez. Oh, geez. This part's like crazy. I'm okay. I'm good. Nice. We did it. <laughs> That's something. <laughs> oh, cool. Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. Okay, he said Crocs, but I thought he meant like the shoe. I was like, what do you mean? Crocs are comfortable. <laughs> SPO said he saw Shadow into the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left, Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car. Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. Uh -oh. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Ah, uh, I mean, it was a simple slip up. I was just... Fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice, Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I... you see... I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. <laughs> Scurf, it was very good fanfic. Also, I'm glad I wasn't the only one to think Shu. <laughs> So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors... Then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? Ooh. But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Seth. One I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass through the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. Oh my god. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. I know. If you dead. weren't. <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I, I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's on to something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Hmm. Hmm. What should we do? Because I mean, like, where... Can you look at the uh, your inventory real quick? Yeah. Look at the map. Oh. Actually, look at the library map. Mm. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Well, if he was here, he might he have was... not noticed him. Yeah, I think we should defend Espio. Yeah, I think so too. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails! Huh? We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Alright, my fellow associate, lay it on me. 
A piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another. This. The library map. All right, now let me get my thoughts in order. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Game Boy time. <laughs> Sonic's just like, cause like Tails, he's like trying to help him, but he doesn't realize, like he doesn't know Seth's name. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ralph, you got this! <laughs> oh. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, it's not done. Uh -oh. oh my. Oh, we good, we good. I should have stayed on 69. Should have jumped. <laughs> Very good. The library map? Oh, oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way Espeon and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. Like, behind where... that little shelf? Yeah. Where could Espy have been for Shadow to not see him? Right here. Yeah. Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this! When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot! That confirms it, then. You see? Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio, or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. <laughs> I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. We, we did it. Another pair of alibis validated. Yay. Yeah! Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise. I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems like the door to the next car is open. Emmy must have kept it open while she passed through earlier. We didn't check? <laughs> <laughs> then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Victor and, Esp Victor and Espio. <laughs> <laughs> I, my name's Victor! <laughs> We've known each other for years. <laughs> Give him heck. And if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. Oh, I love it, Scarb. The uh the the Ides of March uh murder on the Orient Express end, yeah. Oh no, God. <laughs> A murderer is on the loose while doors keep getting locked. Tick tick tock goes the clock, while our heroes are in the caboose. Oh, okay, yeah. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Seth, let's see what's next. <laughs> and Sonic says, nice cock. <laughs> nice cock! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's perfect. You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? The mystery clause. <laughs> okay, the investigation continues. I'm gonna put a stream marker there. So I remember that for later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you do one. I want you to do one for the. He asked for no pickles. <laughs> That's probably my favorite one so far. Okay, will do. You'll have to remind me. <laughs> okay. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, oh. there you are. We have a lot to say to you. Woman. Yeah, women. We've visited every train car so far, 
And everyone said they seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you've brought the Microwave Master with you. Ah, uh, please don't let that be my legacy. Oh, I'm yawning. Oh, sorry. That's right. Folks have bought you up a lot. Care to explain? Oh, you got me on. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank oh, a I hydrate. Doing that too. Yeah, let's both hydrate. Yeah, Vector destroyed my vocal cords. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, can we talk about this chow? Where? Oh, oh, oh <laughs> Ned Flanders chow. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love him. Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Blaze? All right. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Tre treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell them what it is, Rouge. All right. Well... Um, All right, you got it. Good luck. What does... It's a Fabergé chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already. So everything's well taken care of. She roped me in on the hunt immediately. Ah, uh, hold on, hold on. I gotta get, I gotta get Ojo Princess. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. She roped me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train car for clues. I deduced that the Fabergé Chow egg is here in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure's real? It's actually here. And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why did you both take a look? I found the train train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let me see- let us see that. Uh-uh-uh. Finders keepers, sweetheart. There's a problem. Oh. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance for of a success and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Chow egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that, or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Seth, do you have an opinion on this? <laughs> um... Is... Okay, so is Seth a narc? Or... I mean, he likes caves, think? so he probably likes scavenging. He, he probably likes looking for treasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, he works for the train company. Yeah, but how much do they pay him? Ooh, fair point, fair point. You think he's getting minimum wage or less? I think he's getting minimum wage, but they also account for, oh, you're getting tips, so they're taking it out of the minimum wage. Oh, and they're not even, like, giving him enough, like, money for food, because they're like, yeah. oh, well, you know, you're the microwave master. You can microwave food on the job, but they also don't mm -hmm. give him time to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, five-finger discount. No union. Yep, yep. No union. 
Well, I suppose it's both Blaze and Seth are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> That's the ticket. Happy to have both of you on the team. Now, we must plan. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on? Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Says the Fabergé chow egg room is behind a locked elevator door. Security guard has the access card. Do we... Distract the guard. Yeah. Distract them. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to do what to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Seth, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. <laughs> I love how Tails bows to peer pressure. Really, though. <laughs> well, I guess if everyone else is doing it, me too. <laughs> guess I'll steal. <laughs> Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay. Who's distracting the security guard? Huh. I think we need Rouge for like the thievery part. Yeah. So either Tails or, or Blaze. What do you think? Uh, I think Tails could do it. Okay. But wait, what if he needs to operate the elevator? Blaze. I say Blaze. Yeah. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Also, why is Rouge the only one with Titty? Um... Character development. Yeah. Yeah. She, uh... A lot of character development. A, a ton of character Those developments. That character is developed. Is developed. Very <laughs> developed. G great. Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Oh, Maybe boy. the claw machine? That's, yeah, because it'll get them to move. Yeah, yeah. Who puts a claw machine in the casino? This will work great as a distraction. Let's continue the plan. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? Her character developed that puberty. Cool. Wait. <laughs> She, she can't do that. A guard? <laughs> no, no, like a whole guard? Uh, pick, their, pick their pocket, I guess. Yeah, pick their pocket. Yeah. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Why is it between his butt cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> what is he, sipping on a drink? What's going on? Yeah, he's just having a little sippy. A little juicy, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Seth, what's your plan? Uh, pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Yeah? Yep. Then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, I... Um... You dress far too plain. We would need a complete refashioning immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Aww. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'll have to work on your fortitude. I, I said we'll try something else! Hmm... I guess the first one? Yeah, I don't know. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great. And with the guard distracted, we're all ahead to the elevator queue. And just like that, we all make into the elevator. Inside, we... What do we do? Um... 
Well, if we sing victory a cappella, he's gonna know we're in it. A celebratory dance is quiet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pocket sand. Now that's a proper victory! Oh no. One last security measure we didn't account for. I love that he's partying all the way up here. <laughs> I l look at me. Beautiful. Fine. <laughs> what do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Oh fuck. <laughs> oh look at their eyes. Uh... Probably Tails. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, he doesn't have a stake in this heist yet. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no. Tails is taking a while, and the arms are tightening their grip. Uh, mm. Cry and hope they sympathize. Yeah, maybe. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. Ah. Uh. <laughs> if everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right, let's see what's up that elevator. Oh my God, is it a cutscene? No. We did it. <laughs> There's gold. <laughs> I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé egg, chow egg, hee <laughs> hee. Uh, which one? Uh. uh this I guess one? The, the, that one, yeah. No question, this has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter in the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. 23, 4, 1. Hey, that's the date the game came out. Nice. Oh, wow! It's here. <laughs> I have it. Alright, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. I mean, what if the secret's just a bomb? Mm, but kebabs can't be on the train. You're right, you're right. Mm. You can open the egg? You sure can. And all of you will bear witness to its secret. <laughs> we get it, you're into Ovi, let's go. <laughs> Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. <laughs> Sonic still dying. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh it is a bomb. <laughs> We're gonna die! <laughs> uh oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg secret? Because each egg is a bomb? <gasps> I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it after all our hard work. Rouge. Fine, fine. But what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with the bomb? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 
let uh, let Rouge kiss the egg. Where is it? <laughs> to the left. Oh. Yeah. It's as they say, love always prevails. <laughs> I still hear the ticking. <laughs> what a prude. Um, um, uh, throw it in the lock and safe it. I mean, throw it in the safe and lock it. <laughs> Quick, put the egg back, Rouge. Uh, okay, fine, it's going back in. Huh? Tails. The safe won't lock. The door's staying open. What? Close the door and twist the dial! I obviously am. There must be some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. How are you supposed to- We don't have time to mess with this. Think of something else. Uh, uh, ooh, ee, uh, um... What about rock the egg to sleep? Yeah, sure. So you- Oh, sorry. <laughs> So you think this egg is just cranky and needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? Everyone's always mad at the idea guy. Uh... Take one for the team. Mm. Here, give it to me. Huh? Get, get as far away from me as possible. Just remember me as I am. A hero. <laughs> No, Seth, we won't let you do that! I mean, if that's what they want, who are we to- Stop! The uh, microwave kid's obviously not going to sacrifice themselves. Their body's far too scrawny to contain any sort of blast. True. Let's think of something else, quickly. Um... Eat it. Not without any salt, I won't. Really, Seth? Probably a poor time for jokes, huh? Uh, twist the egg again, maybe? Great idea! Great idea. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Great idea. Rob, stop. That's clearly not working. Let's think of something else. Um... Chaos control the egg away. <laughs> oh, I hit the wrong one. <laughs> oh, <t> <laughs> Called me crazy, but perhaps fire and explosive shouldn't mix. You don't think fire would neutralize the blast? You just like to say things, don't you, Seth? Maybe. Alright. Where did you hear about chaos control? Doesn't matter. We need a chaos emerald to be able to do that. Well, dang it! Um... I guess let's just let it finish ticking and see what happens. Hold on, I, I want the I want the rest of the I want the rest of the, the flavor text. Oh, okay. Let's see. I'll cool, tails cool it down with his tails. Cool the bomb down with your tails like a fan. Worth a try. I still hear ticking. However refreshing the breeze may be. Hmm. Okay. New plan. Um. Tell it to stop. Stop. That did nothing. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, let's see if this works to come. What do you mean by this? You know, red wire, blue wire. You gotta cut one, like in the movies. This isn't a movie, Seth. This is real life. Uh, he's got a good point. Uh, flip the egg upside down. Seth, what's flipping it going to do? I don't know, try it. Nothing, happy. Yes. Okay, these are all... bad, so let's do that. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, Seth. That is our goal. Listen, listen. I, I get that, but... What if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Seth, I think you're onto something. Huh. What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just... 
SPO did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the trades manual. Aha. Aha. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to insist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events that can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as this Fabergé chow egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor. And he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should just wait and see what happens. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay, we wait. <sighs> okay. The egg! It opened! It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Whew! My, my, well that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. And look what's inside. Wow, look at that sparkle! And it's so heavy, too! The final secret to the Fabergé Chow Egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect! It's exquisite! It's revolutionary! Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé Chow Egg secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. You kids have fun up there? <laughs> <laughs> the chow. <laughs> no one seemed to suspect anything, and the security guard is back at their post. Hope they subdued the drink coaster fiend okay. Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I'd prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge? She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What? What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance. It's as I said. Finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures. But I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you- I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way for now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. A key! Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's, he's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door is unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do! Come on, Seth, let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. We finally uh, finished the booth. Yeah. Hold on. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now, what can I do for you, darlings? 
hungry. What a paltry menu. Not a lot of options, sweetie. I think I'll have to pass. Not a problem. Just let me know if you need something later. Sure. If I need a bag of chips, I'll holler. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Can I take your order? Can I interest you in anything on the menu? I'm content for now, thank you. The whole, maybe the egg is a bomb thing destroyed my appetite. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I was nervous myself. We could tell, you sweat out of your uniform pretty often. Ah, uh, thanks. <laughs> you're stinky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a very, um, animated person. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Um, hold on. Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Wanna play some blackjack? I don't know how to play that. Uh, it's easy, let me show you. Seth, we simply don't have time for this. We must, we must avenge Sonic. Probably a good point. We no, did a heist, <laughs> but we don't have time for blackjack? No, you guys can play blackjack, that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have another ad break incoming, so let's Ooh. let's let's take another three minutes, y'all, uh, which okay. is great because I have to pee. Um, thanks. Break. Yeah, thanks for watching the ads. I appreciate it. It gives me ad revenue. It means you guys don't have to watch pre-roll ads. If you don't want any ads, consider subscribing to me. You'll also get access to my subscriber emotes. And while you're sitting here waiting for us to come back, why don't you consider following Belith here? He's cool. <laughs> Oh, that's me. That's you. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, do that. Yeah, do that. B R B.
I really should get like a, a mute button on this stream deck. Um, okay, let me go back to games. And we're back! Hello! We're back! Hello! We're back! Time to do more murder mystery. We didn't even murder mystery in this room though. We just we just did a heist. We really did! Oh hold on, what you gotta say? The capability of these robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know. The conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. Oh, thank you for the head bats. <laughs> yeah, Sonic's still bleeding out in the dining car. Please help. <laughs> <laughs> At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that's true. They're very versatile. Alright. Ready to get going? Yeah. Let's find Shadow. Let's do it. My my body and heart is ready. Yo! Look at these chow! Live band? What's Live go? band! Now is as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly how you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in when it, uh, it's hard. Uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I. No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? <clears throat> I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. Oh, hold on. That's a great title for me. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. With what? A haircut. <laughs> an appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Seth, it seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright, ready to find some answer sales? Indubitably, my dear Seth. He, he does look like a Starbucks barista. I'm sorry, we're out of oat milk. <laughs> There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Uh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robot arm, can you? High five. Give me a high five. It doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Skurb ass. Can, can you milk the oats for more? Uh, uh well, I, I, I think the, uh, we only have a male oat, so I don't, <laughs> think, I don't think it's gonna work. Hey, it's the Big Chow Band! Uh, give us a jam. Yo, hold on. Oh. That was spiritual. I feel reawakened. Hold on, now I want a ditty. Yeah, let's get a ditty in here. His tail looks like he dies. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh. They don't miss. <laughs> Those Chow understand music. What's in the cupboard? Oh, Seth, could you open good. the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out. I just think you should do it. Um... Are, are you... Are you... I have to uh... keep them safe. <laughs> yeah. Alright, watch a pro. 
All this dust, you opened the door too fast, it blew everywhere. <laughs> Great. That's it. What's that little thing hanging from the, the little oh. castle? Hmm. Tails, do you see this? A pull string? Seth! What? It's gotta activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe opened! Oh, secret door, secret door, secret door. Secret door, secret door, secret door! There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. Oh! oh! That, that's how. That's how. This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. <gasps> Shh, quick! Back to the passage before they spot us. So remember how you were like, how can they put, how can he put the padlock on and then just go? Yeah. Yeah. Dang. We need to add that to our inventory. I mean, that kind of makes me a little sus of like SPO again, but also Shadow. I yeah. Don't know, I'm a little confused. A little bit of both. <laughs> Big Shadow Band. Oh, um, here. Hmm. A key ring. Must be Shadow's the locksmith. Interesting, there are only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. All right. We took it. Seems a printer's hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic rowing a boat. Huh. This printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear. But I won't let it stump me. <laughs> Beautiful. And here you go. <laughs> I can't swim. I'm gonna die, Tails. <laughs> Save me, please. <laughs> this is exactly what I asked for. Why must I'll, you uh, me so? Quietly set this back on the printer. Okay, now I want to see the other. Hang on, I think I remember which buttons to press. It's really that complicated. Have you ever had a printer work when you wanted it to? No. Tails makes a good point. Never. Printer Fair enough. Printer are worse, are worse than um, coding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, who's this? Who's that little guy? Yeah, oh, okay, you don't know either. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And there! Worked like a charm! Here you go! Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I've never not had a printer work for me. Skurb is just the chosen one, I guess. Wow. I love this for you, Skurb. They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely! Seems convenient! It is. Shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. He's got a point. Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. These windows are huge! What a view! Wait, is that... Uh, what? Is, is that Biggs the cat? Yeah, he's fishing! <laughs> Cute! I hadn't realized this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. <laughs> I just thought the same thing. Uh, what's left? Shadow and Amy. Yeah. And the band. And okay. the door. Yeah, and the door. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. I hear sharing is caring. No way! Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always the first to reveal a scoop. 
When you're ready to challenge Sado, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems confident. We'll hold you to it. Can I take your order? I'm not ordering a single thing till we get birthday cake. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise, I'll get full on dinner and can't have any cake. Um, she, she makes a good point. I guess. You have priorities. I respect that. It just makes sense. Alright. Seth, we can't move on until we interrogate Shadow. Oh, yeah, I guess I was getting a bit ahead of myself. I guess you were. <laughs> oh, better get back to the investigation. Alright. Keep your head on straight, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> it's his time to shine. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. <laughs> it's okay, I also get distracted by dessert. Yeah. That stare. So cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Seth, we certainly will not. Can I take your order? I'll take you up on that coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Two sugar, no cream. When I'm back in the dining car, I'll whip that right up. A coffee on a train. There's no better combination. Some marshmallows would make it perfect. Sure. It took every muscle in his body to agree with Tails. <laughs> um... Yeah, Shadow's more of like a, I drink my coffee black and bitter like my soul. You're absolutely right. Just seeing if there's anything else. Oh, hold on, the trash can. Trash can. Tails. Tails. <laughs> Hear me out, man. <laughs> no. Tails, I think we should chuck the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Seth, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you gonna get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Seth? There's always something in the trash bin. Ah. <sighs> Alright, let's check the trash bin. What, what the fuck? What is it? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Beautiful. Are we sure this isn't just trash? Hmm. No, it's important. I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. It's important. It's important. Yay! I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. Alright. Alright. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why! Huh? Huh? Raytel, why, why, why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip! Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. This door, right here in the lounge car, is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. <gasps> so you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Your conjecture. You all, get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. 
Is the logic sound, though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of thought, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Seth and I can explain the car change, however. Huh? Seth, what evidence do we have that Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Secret the door? menu. Oh. <laughs> the menu. No, no, this feels wrong. <laughs> Secret door. Okay, just get my thoughts in order. Gotta it's been a while. It's been a while since we thought. It's been a while since we used our brain. Whoa, oh, what the bolt. fuck? <gasps> we got oh! Brain. Oh, give me a sec, folks. Whoa, I hope you're having a good one. Yeah, Sonic yeah. Made. We're playing Sonic. Sessu's in a, in a mini game. Yeah! All right. You were playing Mario Party Superstars. How was it? Let me let me do a let me do a shout out to you. Um the 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 government Twitch shout out. <laughs> government mandated. Yeah, government mandated. I'm glad that uh I'm glad that the bot worked for me though. That's great. That's good. Yeah, how are you? I hope you're having a good one. For those that don't know, I am Sesu. Thank you for following. You're gonna jump cut spoilers. No worries. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Sesu. I'm a Cozy Gorgon VTuber. I play a variety of games, mostly indie games. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Indie games, visual novels, dating sims, and uh, sometimes Sonic. Um, you lost and your train of thought. <laughs> we're on a train. Ah, on a train. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and then here's my buddy who's collabing with me today, Bellith. Hello. We're solving a murder. Very, we are very intricately and learning all the clues. Yeah. Also, at Ronnie, um, this game is about maybe two hours if you play it by yourself. Maybe four hours if you play it with voice acting. <laughs> yeah, as far as we know, I think we kind of mapped it out with, like, length. I think we're making it a little longer, but that's okay. It's more fun this way. Yeah, you get our fun comments and, uh, interjections. Mm-hmm. And witty Also, anecdotes. hello, my friend. <laughs> the voice acting really makes it... Listen, <laughs> listen. Belleth is carrying the voice acting. I'm just, I'm just supplementing where I can. He's carrying it. I'm dying slowly. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to, you know, drink tea and cry. Oh, definitely. I'm going to drink so much tea. Okay, did we read yeah. this one? We're both doing a good job. Exactly. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, I don't think we did. I think we finished it and then we got here. This Hydrate. Oh, okay, hold on. I don't think we read this, uh, this, uh, dialogue yet. Oh, oh. You're gonna DM me after stream. Okay, sounds good. Thank you for the hydrate. I hydrated with some water. Seth and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? Why do you sound confused? Uh, a secret passage? Oh, thank you for the head pads. So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, Seth! Hm. This adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being too close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Carried in bridal style. <laughs> Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. I uh don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. I <laughs> also had a hot scoop. <laughs> <I'm> sonic. <laughs> Sorry, I mean I didn't do it. 
<laughs> uh, seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not gonna talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um... I suppose it'd be pretty hard to sneak around two people. Seth, do you have any guesses? Uh, well, Espion Vector didn't see Shadow because... Espio is reading. Yeah. Well, both of those are correct. Both of these are true. Well, he, here's the problem. How does he get past Vector and Knuckles? Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean? That's the weird part. Especially yeah, since he, like, played the game with them. Yeah, like, what would he do? Hide Sonic behind his back? <laughs> yeah! Alright, which one? I guess Espio. That's the only one that is true. I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Huh? Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at whatever that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Oh! Yeah. Like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why are we even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if? Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. <gasps> I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps Seth and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Seth, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? Uh, the keys. Um, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order. Uh-oh, got a game fast. Got a game fast. There. Yeah, nice. let's go. Oh, I missed 69 oh, by one. one. One away. Reset it. Let's do it again. <laughs> there's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. They're for us. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're wrong. <laughs> Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way! Well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Chin. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? Huh? If Shadow didn't murder Sh Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? Hmm. She's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Seth and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? <laughs> Tails, stop, please. <laughs> First, Amy, I have just one question for you. Hmm? Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh. Uh oh, he doesn't have the present wrap. Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Ugh. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Seth? Uh, y yeah, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. 
Except for you, me, and Amy. <gasps> That's right. The conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow wanted to keep us away. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Seth. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Ugh. <gasps> what? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't don't you, Shadow? Ah! How? Seth, show me evidence. Uh huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough, or whatever. What proof do you have? Ah, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Why? What evidence shows what Amy, what Shadow didn't want Amy to know? Was it that he was the the band? Because yeah, get a that feels right. Whew. Just organize my thoughts again. Oh, I should have jumped. Oh my god. Whoa, big jump. Oh. This is a lot. This is a big one. Yeah, it really is. Oh. No, I should have just jumped. You got it. You got it. No, I don't have you enough. Got it. Oh, I might have. Oh, so close. Yeah, if I didn't get hit in that last time. Nuts. Nuts. Let's give that another go. <laughs> the springs! They're red herrings! <laughs> Except for that one. I really needed that one. Oh. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm gaming now. Gaming. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we good. Wow. Woo! Gosh, I hope that's the last one. <laughs> yeah. You went rooting through the trash? <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band ticket's website. Tails, don't. <gasps> ah, this is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Ah, uh, Hot Honey. It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is, ah, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name. Yes, <laughs> isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Wash yourself, Fox. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> the situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I can see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey Band Tickets website exists because... This one. Sh Shadow's <laughs> a big Hot Honey fan. Big! <laughs> Just like I killed Sonic. <laughs> uh. What? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets? For my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. <gasps> Sh Shadow! I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this <laughs> after I accused you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow! The cat's out of the bag! I want to know everything! Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. 
<laughs> Damn, Internet Explorer. Oof, probably our fault there. Ah, sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. <laughs> when I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift. Except for me. Worried for my social status, <laughs> I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey Live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the home page. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you kept speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they can get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this! This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw. The birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I... Your gesture is so sweet, and after I accused you, too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. They... Uh, I, uh, I don't know if... Too late! It's happening! Ah, I can't wait! The show of a lifetime! Uh, fine. Date, date, date. Date, date. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. I don't approve. It seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors have finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who is the source for your uh, big scoop? Is it is it Vector or SPO? Yeah. I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. Oh, thank you for hanging out, Beetle. Thank you, Beetle. Yeah, have a good one. Bye bye. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. <gasps> but we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. Oh. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Seth, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation's finally coming to an end. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for sure. Right on then, let's do it! Okay, hold on. I'm gonna save again. Yay! There we go. Uh... This should be it, the last car. Yeah. Come on, to the conductor's car! I wonder what we'll find there. The conductor, I'm sure! Admittedly, I haven't seen the conductor in a while. I hope he's, he's alright. He's dead! No! He's dead. I'm saying it. I can't believe a secret passage was here the whole time. That would have been very useful. Yeah, the library is closest to the bathroom. It would have been really convenient. <clears throat> I see our priorities are different. Alright, hold on. Before we go, please. Give us a jam. Give us a jam. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I've died from the jam. <laughs> Alright, let's that go. A jam sandwich. A jam sandwich. Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. <laughs> Avenge me, Dales. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? He's so young. <gasps> he dropped his coffee drink, maybe. 
should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty? Wait, where's the conductor? Uh-oh. That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. I, I like how Shadow has joined the group. I know. <laughs> it's great. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. All right, all right, we get it. He loves his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Heteronormal. <laughs> I miss my wife. <laughs> I miss my wife, Tails. <laughs> I miss my wife so much. <laughs> I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information in advertisements. They're nice, the picture's really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said, Happy Birthday, Amy! That was so cute! The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. The high-quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all! Perhaps too much detail. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Uh, no. Just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Ah, uh, guys! I'm trying to figure out where to go next. This this robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck! How creepy! That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off. But the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye aye, sir. <gasps> you know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go all out on a high note. You know, Seth's got a point. Oh, uh, what the <laughs> fuck is this? Hmm? What's this? Was someone playing darts? What is that? Oh! That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. <gasps> hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make note of this. <laughs> Any passenger. Any passenger. I think we found Any enough clues. clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Hold on, though. I didn't... Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future, may any future sorrow be fleeting. <laughs> uh, yes, I wish that too. A microphone! We could talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? <laughs> Either works for me. Alright, let's just start beatboxing. Seth, why are you reaching for the mic? <laughs> oh no, everyone's worried. <laughs> Just, oh, uh, man. offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Seth. Thank you for sharing. On the inside, he's like, this fucking 
this fucking thing. <laughs> Shadow died. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it odd? We haven't seen the conductor since the dining car. I figured he's had the drive the train the entire time. I think it's the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's alright. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I can still hear it now. Well, you two. Think we have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? Everyone? Everyone. We it's high do. time we named a suspect. <laughs> Is someone gonna pick me up? <laughs> Shadow bridal style? <laughs> Please. What do you think, Seth? Ready to solve this case? Yes. Yeah. Hello, everyone. This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. I can't feel my legs. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the whole crew. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Seth. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Please, someone pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Vector! Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready? Let's go get him! Let me tell you, darlings. This has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities. I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. How are you gonna escape a train while it's moving? <laughs> Good question. I love escape rooms, count me in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Except for me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Ha, <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun too. I wanna do that. Okay, I'm not gonna do Amy's uh, ear splitting shriek here but uh <laughs> that's it huh? Huh? what in the world Th that's amy's voice quick where's amy <gasps> he he he's not responding to us sonic sonic what? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there is a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his, pre his head is propped up. I'll help you. Hmm. I knew one of you would take this too far. Huh? Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less! Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles! So I'll ask again. Oh. Which one of you did this? She's crazy. She's <laughs> crazy. Ugh. Uh. This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but... Somehow, he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely! Me too. And my axe. <laughs> and my axe. <laughs> Same. 
We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room. <laughs> Sonic did it to himself. I ate too many chili dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and punish the one responsible. So, Sonic, he really was hurt this whole time and I, I did nothing. I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Hey, Fi, how are you? Happy Wednesday. Tails, Se oh, hold on. Tails, Seth, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? What? But the conductor photo. Yeah, I don't think anyone did. Can you choose the, the photo on the wall? No. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. All right, well, let's think this through. Yeah, let's think this through. Knuckles was in the room closest. He was playing video games when Vector came and Shadow came to drop off their keys. I don't think it's yep. Shadow. I don't think it's Shadow either. Now, as far as people who had access to the, um, the secret door, uh -huh. Shadow said he looked for Espio and he couldn't give him his key. Yeah, so yeah, he couldn't Espio find Espio. And Vector are the only ones that like maybe we could be in cahoots. So I'd say Espio maybe. Mm -hmm, like, maybe mm -hmm. Espio is the quote unquote solution to the fake murder, but the conductor is the real murder. Mm, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think Espio. Yeah, let's try it. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? Mm -hmm. I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Seth, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? Secret passage. passage. Espio could have left the library at any time. Because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car. The lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answer all of your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Seth and I can explain that too. Seth? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? Uh... I, a ninja like him speed hints, I guess? Espio is a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Cordon Blue! <laughs> <laughs> you picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd! Memorizing a whole book? <laughs> I guess to someone who can't read, that's, uh, that's pretty wild. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even memorize a page! <laughs> I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know, it is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once speed, sped, speed read a, a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. He's so petty, I love him. Dick. <laughs> that was funny. If I'm right, 
and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering, entering the hidden passage. Then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. <gasps> I just had another epiphany. Mm -hmm. Rouge has been holding on to the blueprints this whole time. Mm -hmm. Not wanting to show us. Mm -hmm. that's, that's right. How would Espio have even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Seth and I might not have the evidence to answer your question. But we know someone who does. Seth? Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Rouge the Bat? Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever. I already used it to scout for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. This right here is the blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Seth, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Maybe he found them before Rouge did. I guess so, yeah. Cause she found them in the in the library car. <gasps> Aha! Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Uh oh, it was in the library car. It was stuffed with the brochures. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Seth and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much Espio, how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Seth and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? The blow dart. What? what I, yeah, what if I just did the menu? It's not the time. It's not the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now to form my argument. Come on, focus. You're so close, Seth. What would Sonic oh, do? I would run. Please, <laughs> let me up. Oh. Nice. Thank you. Oh! Oh, oh what the fuck? Aww. Aww. That was out of nowhere. That was out of nowhere. Thank you. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my god, still not oh, enough. Oh, <laughs> so close. Okay. I'm mad this that I was it. near perfect. This has to be the last one. It has to. Oh, we good. We good. We good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One one last ad break, folks. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Before this is the it. Truth is revealed. Before the truth is revealed. After our commercial break. After our commercial break. 
thank you so much for watching my ads. I really appreciate it. It helps me gain ad revenue. It means you guys don't have to see pre-roll ads. I'm going to take a bite of my dinner while we ad break. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you don't want to see any ads, consider subscribing to my, uh, to me. You'll also get access to my subscriber emotes. While you're taking a break with us, consider following Belith here. You can find him here. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Let's BRB and let's be back in three minutes. Yeah. Final showdown. It's the final countdown. I already switched over. <laughs> All right. All right, let's switch back. Welcome back. We're back. We're back. Let's do it. This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. <laughs> I believe Espio used this. It's an oxonic unconscious. Ah, oh, so you mean... Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations. Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. 
I didn't do it. <laughs> if I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot. That's a good point. But Tails was onto something. I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Seth and I know another way it could have been done. We, we do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? Uh, the blueprints? Hmm. I guess so. I guess. Alright, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think so. Another? Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh. Oh. Oops. Whoa, what the fuck? Woo! Woo! Yeah, first try. And still, one off from 69. We can never fully win. Never fully win. Alright, let's take a closer look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? <gasps> There's a path above the conductor's car. And it goes all the way to the dining car. <gasps> huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, it's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over here? Mm. The vent, of course! That must be the entrance to the path! Allow me to check it out. My word. There's a path back here, and a track. Uh, a track? Huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. That must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying... I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent, and then took him to the dining car? <gasps> Tails, you're a smart kid. So I know you realized we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? A robot arm? Yeah. <laughs> I humored the idea of an axe causing this, but weapons aren't allowed on the train. <laughs> Oof, not a- uh, Think about my argument! You can do this! Think! Game! Ah. Oh my god, okay. Was some quick jumps. Really was.
You can do it. Yeah. Nowhere near enough. Almost though. Less hits and you got it. amount of rings at that point though. I think you got it. God damn it. Okay. Hold on. Uh, I know what my problem is. I know what it is. Is it like yeah, a delay or something? No. That should be it. There we go. Ooh, yeah, that's really good. We go. Got it. Nice. Oh. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly, a fight broke out here. And one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms use that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? Mm -hmm. I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have got him. Interesting theory tales. But you have to admit these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to Espio yet. But I have found one inconsistency. Hmm. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information. And I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? Amy. Amy. Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Mm -hmm. Tails, you're you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio. <sighs> no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Hmm. Misheard you? Yes, I said, uh, Sonic's getting going to get trapped with all these locked doors. <laughs> I was just, uh, looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. Uh, what? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time. While you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage. Gah! Oh wait, sorry, I don't know why I did that. Group gah! <laughs> and now you're lying to me? On my birthday of all days? In front of my salad. 
I believe the murderer used the train controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Sonic for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. In examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it could only have been one person. Ah, <laughs> ah they did it! It was, it was you, you SVO! <laughs> you are the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog! <gasps> uh, 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 hey guys! <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, guys! <laughs> you, you, you called it! <laughs> Sonic, you're okay! Sonic, and just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer! Right. And here's how it happened Espio jumped on the conductor uh, and ejected me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart, though? Really? <laughs> Get real. It's non-lethal poison. He'll just be sleepy for a while. <laughs> Great. I could use a nap. <laughs> no. Wait. There's something important. Espio left me there. Something important. I need everyone to listen. The trains of Badnik. What the fuck? Oh. <gasps> Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do you need to lie back down? No, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor's car, the conductor was already here. I cannot believe this on his day before oh. he retires. In front of his own salad. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of this train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. Oh, okay, good, good. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. Ah, oh, tweet, tweet, tweet. A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power sauce. Power source. <laughs> Dr. Oh, Eggman. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it. It's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting on my shoulder. It was the blow dart from SBO. Hey, welcome back. <gasps> welcome back. So Espio is the murderer of the case, but something larger is afoot. Yup. Yeah, Sonic's okay now. Yeah, he's good. Uh, I remember it like it was today. <laughs> Espio left. The lights in the room started glowing red. Hmm? I forgot the conductor's voice. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was like this, I think. Blah, 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 yes. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, okay. yes, that's it. That's right. Thank you. Hey, stop. What are you doing? Oh my god, on his day before retirement. I was... No, I was gonna retire. <laughs> I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, sliced off the rail. It was on. Uh, way past cool. <laughs> wow. 
I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Yeah, no, evil robot cool. takeover. <laughs> Whoa! The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. I heard them rip him apart, <laughs> <laughs> limb Christ. by limb. It was a gruesome scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Hmm. 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 Everyone, I have something to admit. What the fuck did you do? <laughs> I pooped myself. <laughs> I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Got, Espia, we, we got that already. <laughs> yeah, we already knew that. <laughs> hmm. The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you just not tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. Uh... I was just following the rules. Oh. See? Use this blow dart on Sonic Station in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express, Steph. <gasps> What is that? It says... Use this... Guys, I read that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it... One of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who? Or what? Seth, why do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? Uh... The train itself? Yeah, definitely think it was the train itself. I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture and for a good while. So I think... The train itself is plotting something. <gasps> First we learned the train's a bad Nick, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out for us? Has it out to get us? Something? I don't know what the train's full intent is. But clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train. <gasps> Come out and show yourself. Hey, Amy. It's my birthday and I don't need you messing with it. Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. <laughs> Come on, there's got to be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? Oh. oh. What did you two do? Is that <gasps> the conductor? Oh. No. <laughs> Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. <laughs> Finally, oh you've been wanting to voice this train the entire time. <laughs> Beep boop boop. I have feelings too. <laughs> I won't let him home to his wife. I love him. <laughs> <gasps> Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. 
Eggman. After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails, like we always planned. My love. What are you? Enough. The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. One day from my retirement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he loves the conductor. Something stinky, and it's not my finger. Which one of these <laughs> buttons turns the train off? <laughs> Which one of these buttons turns the train on? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Sonic! <laughs> Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. He is possessive over the conductor because he's going to retire. Ah! Whoa! No! No! I can't keep my footing. Ah! Ah! And then we all died. And then we all died. Ah! Uh, a bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. No! Ah! Uh, ah! My head! Tails? Amy? Ah. Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Hold on, take over Seth for a minute. Okay. Hmm. H hello No need to yell, bud. S Sonic, I I'm so sorry. Uh, are, are you okay? Hanging in there? It seems the train's arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? A great question. But for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog? Asking about me? Uh, I, I feel terrible. Yeah. Things aren't looking the brightest. Okay, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> but this, when the situation's dark, it's up to us to shine the way forward. Oh my god, he's even- he's doing it all! Ah, uh, Sonic's just as cool as everyone says. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea! Lead the way! <laughs> Now this is the part of the murder mystery where they kiss. It's so dark in this room, I can't see a thing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Got too close. <laughs> silly me. <laughs> Real silly. Ooh, ooh. Super silly. <laughs> Super silly. Hey, one of those robotic arms are here too. It, yeah, it swiped at me. Best to leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. We gotta get out of here before that arm swipes at us again. Oh. oh! That yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showing us the weather. Huh. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I miss the yellow glow already. <laughs> you got some nerve showing up here, egghead. Ho 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 ho! You spiky blue pest! Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. Created. Oh. Own. You I created guess created, yeah. <laughs> You, you. <laughs> what are you? Don't talk to me. Peasant. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> ah, ignoring that. They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman Land, these problems would need sorting out. 
So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg, Dr. Predictable? Mm, my finger's still smelly. The people <laughs> fear giant spears, it's science. He's got a point. Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Oh god, how much more do we Jesus have? Christ! <laughs> Seems <laughs> answer me these questions three, and <laughs> you shall see your friends again. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no! I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a badnik is normally very basic, just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happened aboard. This train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver y'all to me. <gasps> See? I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First, to capture your pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. Ugh. The train wants to deliver us to Eggman. For a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever. But a highly intelligent train... Wait, they don't even ask for his autobiography with recipes? Mm -mm, not thinking. It, it, it wants love. <laughs> it may ask for something more. Interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? Hmm, my finger. When you <laughs> drag to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I have a finger, too. <laughs> I already do. Get lost. You smell. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin and into he my has heart. An itchy nose, let him scratch it. Mm, this is smelly. This is tough. <laughs> the train has the motivation, and being made by Eggman, it's no doubt powerful. Uh, not to mention, it's still smelly. We're all separated. <laughs> hmm. What am I supposed to think? Yeah. The train purposefully had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This yeah. whole time we were all in danger, and I, I went along with it. That's right. Hmm. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, they're both... Self-deprecating much, am I right? Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh. ha! Gotta try hard fast! <laughs> Am I at fault here? Hey! hey. <gasps> I can tell this situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah, sorry, I... I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. Sorry, it's a jam. Just like it's easy to question, this sweet jam! <laughs> this is good. Yeah, it really sounds good. <laughs> Gotta listen fast! <laughs> but when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. Dude, this is all bop! I need you here helping me think this through before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. 
<laughs> okay. You're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe. Okay. We gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? Mm. What would you do? The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves what would Sonic do? So, what would you do? Uh, what would I do? Well, I guess I need a chili dog, and then I just figure it out. <laughs> well, I'd speed through the head on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. <laughs> WWSD, what would Sonic do? <laughs> Gear, stand back. Shazam! <laughs> <laughs> wow, with one big wind up, Sonic spin dash was fast enough to get the door open. Hey, now the road's clear, nothing can stop us. <laughs> Better hold on to your pants. I'm not wearing any. I don't think we'll get another chance to break <laughs> after this. <laughs> I don't think I'm wearing any either. This is the final finals showdown. <laughs> Ready to go? Let's do it. Let's do it to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Let's go find our friends. To the conductor car. To end this mystery. For real this time. <laughs> For real this time. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through the next door too. Ready? Let's do this! <laughs> Sonic respectful enough to wear a train jacket. Not pants, <laughs> this isn't church. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my I god. A shirt on me. Ow. Holy shit. <laughs> this looks fucking tough. What the fuck? What I'm the sorry, fuck? Don't use the Lord's name in vain. Oh. oh, I got to do it again. Okay. You can do it. That that looks not hard at all. Oh, oh my, my god. Okay. Oh. I like how you have the little hat this time. Yeah! Oh it's because it's actually him and not just our imagination of him. <laughs> I was just a construct of your beliefs. Now I'm real. Like I always was. I think. Shit, I don't know. Are you dreaming? Sonic, you thinking too much. Uh-oh. 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 We didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. Me about to turn the accessibility up. No. Gamer mode activate. Ah. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Oh, so close. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Okay. Just wait till I see Eggman, I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, Knucklehead, let's go! Aw, uh, thank you for the head pads. <laughs> That's the Sonic I love. Oh okay. boy. Oh, I didn't jump fast enough. Holy cow. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. That's not too bad. At least the checkpoints too. It's not like, you know, heartless. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Sonic the Hedgehog. You can't catch what you can't see. Sonic the Hedgehog. 
No, okay. I have to get one of the one of the ring things. Yeah, I forget. There's like one that you might be able to jump on. Yeah. Ah, and not get one? hit by that. Yeah, I think so too. It's like the one to the far right there, I think. Okay, yeah, just die. Just die, Sonic. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> not the first one, but the second one. The right, yeah, the right one. Oh. Ah, fuck. Okay, let me just die again. <laughs> let's try this. Ah, oh, thank you, Beetle. Thank you. I'm trying my best. Nope. Ah. You still have a good ring count. I might be able to do this. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Mm, no. Almost. Okay. Okay. So this one, like, farthest, right? Yeah, but not the first one, the second one. The second yeah. set of springs. Yeah. And the farthest to the right. Nice, nice. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Very good. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Right. Woo! Aw, uh, thank you for treating Tiger. Well, bam! You all came for you all came for us. Of course, but let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is to get off this stupid train. Let's go. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, da. Ooh. Ah. First try? No, uh, no. So close, close though. Holy cow. I All right. I memorized where those bubbles were. Yeah, me too. I totally did not. I think the first one was like in the middle. Ah, uh, I did that one That's wrong. okay. Ah, okay. It's this one then. And then, okay, good, good. And then... <gasps> yeah! Let's go! Nice maneuver. Thank you. Sonic! It's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. Damn, girl. Whoa. We gotta move. You two ready? Always. Let's boogie. 65 now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, the meteors. <laughs> you know, I'm actually okay with the meteors. Ooh. Ah. Uh. Oh my god. First, oh my god, you blew Let's it out Let's go! Jeez, jeez. Woo! They locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. Say no more. Let's go. Say less. <laughs> Say less, queen. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, I was being greedy. Um, we see where that put me. This one has a lot, though. Yeah. Hmm? In fact, nope. <laughs> so close, so close. So yeah, you got this one. God damn! Every time. Why is this like one of the best Sonic games ever? I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa! 
Every time I try to do it. I know I can't. Okay, I did nice. that one though. Ah. Then I immediately lost it all. Oh. Nope. Okay. <laughs> How was the fall? Listen. Is that is that actually gonna happen? <laughs> the sound bite? Yeah. I didn't hear it. Neither did I. I. I don't know, maybe. Sometimes they break. You wanna talk about how you casually just did that? Yeah, let's talk about it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sonic! Sonic, you're here! <laughs> this is no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right. I'm ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. Okay, good. Woo! You did it. Also, let me let me check out the sound bites while I'm going. Excellent work trapping these pests. Now, hurry to me. Come to me, Sonic. I must <laughs> properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land. And probably another death egg, I don't know. <laughs> Which Thank one? Thank you. Um, don't teleport us to the future? I don't, <laughs> sure. I don't know what that's about. Teleport you all? Oh, to the future? When I've already ruled the planet. Oh, good idea. Thanks. <laughs> That's a really good one. I should do that. Sure, I'll do that. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not me. Thanks. Shut it, Eggman. Hmm. Don't disappoint me, train. Hurry it up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Just bring me these overgrown mammals. Grr, that Eggman. Mm, I must get my wish. <gasps> I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Am I gonna have to fight this again? Oh no. Tell me if that comes through. Let me see. I gotta- I gotta fight the fucking train?! Oh my god. I didn't hear any alert. Okay, yeah. It's broken. I love right, how sound alerts see. is like... <laughs> sound alerts is like, oh, your browser source is offline. And I'm like, but you're the browser source! <laughs> you are the browser source. Oh! Ooh. Not Almost. enough. <laughs> Am I gonna have to fight the train like in Final Fantasy VI? <laughs> or Sabin when you need him. I haven't played enough Final Fantasy VI to understand that reference. I'm sorry. He's the he's the guy you have in the, during that fight. Fuck. He's one of the team members, and he's a monk. And you could do inputs like like uh, like in like Street Fighter to do certain moves, right? Oh, okay. And one of them is suplex, and usually you can suplex like small enemies. Oh my God! You reason. could suplex the train. Yeah, for some reason the train is susceptible to suplex, so you can suplex the train. That that's so funny. Ow. Fuck! This is hard! Oh boy. Oh, Skurb. I have so many Final Fantasy games to play before I can pull in six. I still have to play nine. I still haven't finished eight. Eight's a doozy. It really is. It really is. I call shenanigans. Fuck! You hit that, you hit that bouncy I hit that! <laughs> that bouncy spring. Ooh. 
I've seen some crazy things, I think, from like the what do you call it? With like triple triad and just like obliterating that game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. System. Mm. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to do triple triad. I've been stuck with like the the GF system. Oh. It's just a lot. And I don't like to read. There we go. Th there we go. Nice. Fuck! Oh no! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> you fucked yourself over with eight because you overleveled? Oh. That's fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. All good. All good. Oh. Yeah. Oh god, is it gonna keep going? <laughs> None yeah. of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave it like it was nothing? <laughs> He's so fucking jealous. Who do you mean? The conductor? He's retiring. You just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up, just shut up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's still going. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my god, oh good. Oh my god. But you know what? You know what? Guess what? You're gonna first try this one, so it doesn't matter. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Oh. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> oh. For 32 years, they've been in love. Uh. Oh. You're at the front, though. I think this is it. Yeah, I think so, too. Conductor to retire. After he gets back from Spaghetti Land, he'll take he'll take his wife on the train, and then they could live together. It's a happy ending. Nice. Oh. Yay! Conductor. Oh, oh my God. You promised me, you promised. Let him speak, unhand him. Train, stop, stop this. When I told you we'd be with each other forever, I was a much younger man. I'm getting old and tired. Excuses, how dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely, so lonely. 
Why must you insist loneliness upon me? No! Stop! What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this! Oh my oh, god! No. We have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train! Oh no! Oh no! Wait... What's happening? What? Uh... Oh my freaking god. I heard Alex just laugh really loud. <laughs> <laughs> Holy guacamole. What? What? What is happening? Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh, holy! Oh don't my point God. it out. If I don't you're look just, at it, I don't have to you see just, it. Oh! You just did it. You just did it. I just didn't look at it. <laughs> you just didn't look. <laughs> Wait, what? Bitch! Oh, okay. How many times do you have to hit it? Oh no! Oh, there's the flicky. He's so tired. A flicky. This is just like the lore card, where my ex-best friend left detective work to join Dr. Eggman! So, this really is a bad nick. The stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him! On it. Let's show our full power. Yeah, the whole ga- The whole gang better help me get some fucking rings, what the fuck? What? Why is it not over? <laughs> Jeez. Whoa. Why is it whoa. Not over? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is this is crazy. I look too hard. I look too hard at it. Oh. Ah, okay, that that's probably for the best. All right. This is insane. It really is. They really popped off with this game. Ah. Okay, every time. That's where I gotta... That's where I gotta do it. The most important thing is staying calm under pressure. Yes. Hollow Knight has taught me this. Ah. Ah, okay. Oh. Put the cozy and cozy Gorgon VTuber Sesu, come on! <laughs> <laughs> this uh. is cozy! <laughs> ah, okay. I'm losing way too many, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm only going Mach 9. Oh, my alarm's gonna go off in a second. It's gonna be annoying. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. Hold on, actually... No, I'm just gonna die. There we go, okay. D -d 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 uh, dismiss. Woo. Nice. I wanted to be here anyway. There we go. Fuck! I missed it. Ah. And the Sonic gets the big. Uh, what if the rings reach 100? Then Sonic gets the big O ring. Hi. 
Damn it. Those are too fast. Okay. Ah. Just kill me! Just kill me! No. Just kill me! <laughs> Snooze my ads. There we go. Ah, fucking hell. Fucking hell. Just, yeah. Alright. Oh my god. Okay. Die again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> If I get to the point where my ad break comes up again, I'm just gonna go to a six mode. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this a little easier on myself. Gotcha. But I'm also feeling, I'm feeling, fuck! Oh, so close. <laughs> I'm feeling good though, I'm feeling good. That jump always gets me. gonna do here invincibility or invincibility. Remove pitfalls yeah, yeah. Invincibility. listen <laughs> i want to see the end of this and i also want to sleep at some point <laughs> yeah i don't want to scream too loud it's getting late yeah finally i've been wanting to do that the entire time Technically, I would have been able to do this anyway. I don't feel bad at all. Yeah. Ugh. Boom. Just, just be delivered to Eggman already. What about, what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me selfish? How how dare you? Oh my god. Okay, okay I'm glad I'm, I'm glad we turned on assist mode. Oh my god. Who said it? Who called it before? I uh, uh Beetle, I think. Oh boy. Yep. <laughs> Oh my god, if I had to do what this, I would have screamed. This? Oh. Holy cow. I forgot about pitfalls. Well, on the upside, at least I know who I'm gonna raid after this. <laughs> One of the guys I've been watching lately um, just went live. He's very good. I like watching his streams. Nice. <laughs> this is the Muse Dash of Sonic. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll grab a fucking. I'll grab a flicky. <laughs> huh? Gotcha. It's over. It's time to pay for ruining my birthday. That's cute. God, I love Amy. Bam.
<laughs> Cherub's looking Tweety Bird. Oh my god, her face. Oh, I gotcha! <laughs> nice. nice catch. I said to myself, <laughs> the train <laughs> is slowing down. <laughs> Great hit, Amy. Okay, before before we continue, I need one last set of ads. Yay! <laughs> Alright, sorry guys, this is the last ad break for real. Um, We're almost there. Actually, I'm gonna do one minute of ads. That might get us enough. So let's let's try 60 minute of ads, and we'll be back. And we'll finish this game up. Thank you for watching the ads. I really appreciate it. Yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave the game up because I don't feel like going to my BRB screen <laughs> and then coming back. They mean 60 seconds, silly goose. What silly did I say? Goose. Did I say? Minutes. Oh no! <laughs> we'll just be here for another hour. It's okay. No, stop. <laughs> Let me shout you out again. Uh. <laughs> yeah, finger, 20 minutes should give us where enough. It's going later. Where? What? Uh, I don't know. Uh, go to the <laughs> I thought we were a commercial break. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm watching TSN, the Sonic Network. Thumbs up. Why do I have a... Oh. I was like, why do I have a notification on Discord? My it's throat. not important. I know. Oh, the shopping network. Oh, oh man, you should have yeah. got tea. You should have had tea for midway through. That helped I the know. hell out of my throat. I know. What do you mean, ads starting soon? I'll kill you, ads manager. What are you doing? We already did my ads. Ads. I'm, I'm scared that it's going to do another three minutes of ads. I'm really scared. Oh, boy. Okay, um, I'm going to ignore it for a minute. <laughs> Let's continue until we figure out what it's doing. Oh, okay. The train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. Okay, I did do ads. <laughs> Only two <laughs> minutes, though. See you in two minutes. Sorry. <laughs> I thought just running like one minute of ads would be okay, but my, my ads manager is very, um, it's very insistent. So I had two Amazon, no, I had two packages get delivered to me today, mm -hmm. but I was only expecting one. It's a secret special package? I don't know. Oh. Maybe. I don't know what else I bought. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Spooky. Yeah. No, ah, uh, hmm. You know, there is a throne package that's been uh, uh, out of whack for like a while because it was getting shipped from Japan. So that that could be it. But it wouldn't be anything else because I like I disabled my throne package since I'm go my throne stuff since I'm going on hiatus uh, mm -hmm. and moving. That's the more important part since I'm yeah, moving. <laughs> that would do it. That would. Do it, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want like. While I was off and not paying attention, someone to go, let me give Sesu a perfect day. And I would have been like, yes, a perfect day. Thank you. But also, male nightmares. Because <laughs> male forwarding. Nightmare. Yeah, and male forwarding doesn't always work. Sometimes it's weird. Okay, our ads are almost done. Okay, sorry. Welcome back from ads. For real. Yay. Let's finish this game. <laughs> we we here we're here we're here oh, no, the, the the breakup it's it's happening oh no I love you I just couldn't couldn't bear to see you go I'm 
sorry for the trouble. Aw. I'll be your BF robo arm. I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. <clears throat> Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Why this game make me want to weep? What the fuck? <laughs> Hey, we're back. That train is beat up. <laughs> Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> no sweat, that was fun. I should die more often. <laughs> we did it! Well, I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step! Watch your step! Aw, Seth. It's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we should just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh, you don't love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually gonna miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Bruh! Whoa. Yo! Yo! Oh. No wonder you're trying to get back to your wife. What no the wonder. fuck? Yo, can I retire too? Holy <laughs> shit. Oh my god. Please. Honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. <laughs> You'd honestly never believe what happened. So I won't even try. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Sp <laughs> Quick, we leave for Spagonia in the morning, and you need to pack. Mmm, I love spaghetti. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation something terrible. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal. Hey, thank you. Have a good bedtime, Echo. Thanks for hanging night, out. Echo. Bye bye. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? Uh, an old friend, I think. What? Oh, it's the. Oh my god. Oh my. The oh. Bird was in the, it, was, it was in the robot, the train, and that's yeah. what happens when you set free the soul of the bird. It was the train the whole it time. It was the train the whole time. Oh my mm -hmm. god. Oh my god, he gets to, he gets to live with them as a pet forever. Yes, he gets to still be, live with him, just like we said. Wow. Yes. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. It's just like Sonic Adventure 1. <laughs> cheep, cheep, cheep. Seems that Flicky found a friend. <laughs> Polly pet best friend situation, let's fucking go! Great job saving that little guy, Espio. It was the least I can do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Hold on, before we continue, the band chows and the security chow. Oh yeah, they're all here. <laughs> <laughs> they're all here. Don't be. You were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Sonic, walk it off. I would have punched him in the face. <laughs> Seriously, a dart? That's no good. It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. He's got a point. Regardless, I am sorry. <laughs> we're cool. And now that we're all safe, it was fun. This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving. I forgot we never ate. With all that clutter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too. I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. S Sonic? 
Wait, where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? This station has a bakery. And look what I bought. Ah, a birthday cake. Win. How did how did he get a <laughs> custom birthday cake at this stall just now? I don't know. Was it all planned out from the beginning? Oh, Sonic, maybe, yeah. Are you, Sonic, are you the mastermind behind all of this? <laughs> a birthday cake. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Amy. Amy! Happy birthday, Amy! Happy birthday, Amy. Hmm. To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personacity. <laughs> Happy birthday! I'm not smart enough to know if personacity is a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday! Ah! Ah, you guys! We almost got murdered by a lonely train, but... But... I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys will never leave me, right? What a dream of it. Oh, gotta go. Now let's <laughs> have some cake. <laughs> yes, please dig in, everyone. Yay! I hope it's chocolate. Shadow, look at this fucking cake. Does it look Shadow, like chocolate? <laughs> Oh my god, what's going on over here? <laughs> what's happening here? <laughs> that train's never making it here, is it? Mm. Orbot, prepare a bath. Daddy Stinky. The happy rubber ducky one or the angry one? Angry. Sour choice, your evilness. Shut it! Wow, they put everyone in this game. Everyone, including Seth. Including Seth. And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends. <laughs> Where can I buy these shirts? Entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment, and then back to things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train station, and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, I... Uh, stuck with the gig. Yeah? Right? I think I think Seth likes to give joy to everyone. Yeah, I think so too. And then... Yo, this um, man's winning millions in the lottery. I don't even care. Okay. Yeah. And after all that, I... Um, managed to fly to space? Yeah. Yeah, that's just been my life. <laughs> he just doesn't even All say right. anything about it. <laughs> that's it. All right, Seth. That's Good it. And yeah, that's the. President. <laughs> and then I became president. Oh, uh, just as a heads up, I'm gonna raid after this. Try to stick around oh, for the murder. raid if you can. Yay! Yay! Do you want to watch all the credits? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I thought yeah. about it if there were like pictures, but. I think it's just credits. Oh. Oh, I can I can make it go fast. Oh yeah, do that, do that, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go. Let's okay. recognize all these cool people for all their Eric cool Omega. work. Yeah. Yeah, Ellen Alsop, let's go. Yeah, KDC. Tony Harnell, Senya. you're doing it. <gasps> June Senyo, Tony Harnell, Johnny P. Oh, the people, the the, cr the oh. crew. Oh. Bree Newman, thank you. Bouncer Chow! Nice. <laughs> Let's go, Itaro Toyota! Director of Lore, can I have that job, please? <laughs> I want to be the Sonic Director of Lore. More than anything. Let's go, QA! 
Yo. Let's go! Let's go customer support, Mitchell. You had the hardest job of all. Mitchell, you, you, social media manager. <laughs> yeah, let's go, Katie. April Fools, Katie. You yeah, know. you surprised the hell out of us. Jeez. Let's go development. Let's go producers. Let's go Daisuke and finance. <laughs> the council. The, the legal council. council. Come special on, special gang. thanks. Maria, Miki, Paul, Joel, Mai, Jim, Aaron, Edmundo, Makoto, Yo, Big, Big the Cat, cat the Dog. <laughs> Yo, smiley Happy face. April Fool's Day. Observed. Wow, was this the best Sonic the Hedgehog game ever, or was this the best Sonic the Hedgehog game ever? I think it was. I think it was. Yeah, okay, let me. The best. Let me let me switch to my just chatting screen real quick. We're just we gonna hang over there for a little bit. I know yeah, we just, did it. I was scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was the best game ever. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Oof. I'm sweating. <sighs> yeah. It was a lot. That was a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be drinking so much tea tomorrow. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh. oh my god. I'm